Hey, hey, everyone. Sorry for being a little late to an early stream. As, whoop. Come on, VTube Studio. All right. Calibrate the camera. All right. What's up, Abby? What's up, Mike? Takanashi, Rusty, Gondola over on uh, Twitch chat, Daniel, Jenna, Jam. I think that catches a lot of people. Uh, you're sick. Yes, I uh, I went to the doctor this morning. I have bronchitis, so I my cough is just gross. But um, I feel I feel okay. I just have this nasty chunky cough. So bear with me if I uh, cough and I don't mute myself in time. But otherwise, my voice should be fine. Trust me, if I if I wasn't feeling good, um, I wouldn't stream. And if I start to not feel good, then I'll just end the stream early. Hey, Sparkly Pink Galaxy, welcome to the stream. I'm also on the sick force, potentially had COVID. Yeah, I had that three weeks ago, and I was worried that my cough was like long COVID or something, or... Uh, um, I don't know, I guess there's like a COVID-induced pneumonia is what I was told to look out for. So that's why I went to the doctor, but he goes, nope, bronchitis. And I'm like, well, bronchitis sucks, but pneumonia could be way worse. And I had COVID early this year, missed my first two weeks of the second semester. Dang. Yeah, I mi I've missed like, well, I've been working from home, thankfully, but uh, I haven't gone into the office a whole lot. Let's... <laughs> but oh well I hope I hope you're better now Abby gondolas in twitch chat showing off his emotes but we ha we have better twitch tv emotes and it works on both chats gondola you look so you look so fierce with your little pistol there look at him oh he faded been healthy ever since well that's good all right now if I click here hey all right I remembered to set it up. Oh, and then I'll click here, and now you guys can hear the game. Uh, Constitutional Accord of Stello Justice. That sounds like us. Permadeath. So, no save files to go back to if uh, something bad happens. RimWorld jump scare? Oh, I'm sorry, did I? <laughs> Should I have given a warning? All right, where are we at? Uh, Aura Master. 
Hey, hey, what's up, Niblish? Nimble, tough, and kind. He is our... Oh, I thought he was our leader. I think he's in a relationship with Arizona Made Gamer. Uh, we have Darn Sig, who is our acolyte, meaning he's our noble. Oh, I'm doing good. Uh, except for the bronchitis. Doing good. Uh, we have Cholo, who is our great ethicist and our leader. Hard worker, psychopath, jealous. Look at his little laboratory. Doing, doing the research. What are we researching? Package survival meals. So we can uh, travel farther. Uh, Niblish, if you haven't... Oh, nope, there you go. Number 19. Uh, Mares, who is our makier, if I remember correctly. Yep. Uh, very good at crafting items. Psychically hypersensitive, abrasive, and slothful. Unfortunately, slothful. Do, do you ever get smashed with the boys and get talked to doing hot sauce challenges? My lips are literally bleeding. No, uh... I had a co-worker who would bring in the hot sauces from the, uh, the Hot Ones show on YouTube, which is a great show if you've never seen that. The Gordon Ramsay episode is spectacularly funny. But he was like, yeah, I saw Hot Ones and I wanted to try this barbecue, or, you know, this hot sauce. And I was like, all right. Um, they were really, really hot. I, I, it wasn't so bad that my lips were bleeding, but... It was it wasn't a bad time. I like that emote combo. <laughs> Gondola holding the gun to woozle. <laughs> uh, okay, Arizona made gamer. Careful shooter, quick sleeper, bisexual. I think is in a re relationship with. Oh, is engaged to Aura Master. That's right. Ken, Ken Kaneki. Slowpoke and kind. I think he's our master hunter because of his high shooting and animal stats. Reminds me of that clip at a wedding. The bride reads the vows. I promise to let you smash with the boys. Crowd laughs. Groom says it's a video game. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, McDougal. Great memory nudist. Shooting melee and plants. Doing his plants job right there. Harvesting the cotton so we can make more clothes. Arrow. Melee. Plants. Crafting artistic medicinal. Dorzo. Quick sleeper gourmand and bloodlust. Shooting melee cooking and intellect. Shul. Wait, why isn't he... I'm gonna kick his intellect up, or his research priority up, so maybe he'll... Because I don't need him to... Wait, I don't think I need him to cook. No, Darn Sig is our dedicated cook. And I don't need him to do plants, because... There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other... Ponds that can grow and harvest plants. So I want him to do research so we can learn how to make more stuff. Uh, we have Josh is sexy. Not to be confused with Josh is sexy. Uh, very neurotic, pyromaniac, body purist. But look at the burning passion in shooting, melee, cooking, and plants. And an interest in animals and crafting. And then Karma Kid, who I think we got through a party last time. Great memory, optimist, <clears throat> very social and intellectual. Maybe I should kick him down on the hall and clean so he'll research more. Would be useful. All right, now we're all caught up to where we're at. Uh, what are our goals? Um, finish package survival meals. Hey, hey, look, we just... Alright, goal accomplished. Um, oh, we need a lot more medicine. 
So maybe we should research drug production so we can make medicine. Uh, the anti-dirt floor alliance has successfully swayed you? Yes. When I was told... Okay, so for the laboratories, I know that a clean room boosts research speed. So that's why I put the uh, steel tiles down. We don't have sterile tiles. Um, and then when I learned that bedrooms uh, heal you faster and you have a less chance of infection if you have a... Um, if you have a floored room, I was like, all right, we'll, we'll start putting some floors down. Oh, the other goal. We need to start walling off our base so when we get raided, we can make a kill box. And I saw a new style of kill box on uh, Adam vs. Everything's channel. I might try that for this playthrough. So I think we'll... We could probably wall off here. And here. Hey, what's up, Nutters? And then we can deploy it here, maybe? Oh, better mute my phone. But yeah, it's a it's a cool new setup. And uh, it's close it's a close range kill box, so uh, really good for chain shotguns, but I still like heavy SMGs. But who knows, we might we might end up using both. Both. B-O-W-L-T-H. Oh, we got beer. I forgot. Wait, beer is ruined by temperature. Who messed up the beer? We need this set to like one or six degrees Celsius. Wait, why did I put a heater in here? Ideal fermenting temperature is seven degrees. All right, I don't know who, that, that was my fault. I threw the cooler and the heater in on default temperatures, which is, well, it shouldn't be out of range for the, maybe I'll let it get too cold. Surprisingly, you can't let beer get too cold, even though it's best enjoyed while cold. All right, darn Sig's mad he has an undignified bedroom, but we're putting, we're trying to fix that. And then the platform of war is disrespected. Oh, we need this whole area floored, which we are also working on. Quest available, poor little Xena. Calcus Zero, a dame of the Orange Empire is making a request. She wants you to take care of her favorite pet, the French Bulldog Xena, at Eureka for 10 days. For unknown reasons, the French Bulldog has been targeted by an orbiting mechanoid swarm. A mech cluster will deploy nearby. A Janissary will be com will be placed under your control. You have to feed and house him, but he may die without consequence. Uh, I hate mechs, so I might decline this. The rewards aren't that great. Combat weaponry, we don't really need since we're using... We have the dual wield mod. So you don't really need the elbow blades and stuff because... If you get attacked in melee, you just swap to your melee weapon. Gold? We have plenty of gold. Eltex helmet. We're not really using a whole lot of psychic powers. And honor? Well, we don't even have the requirements for the current setup met, so why would I rank him up and make things more difficult? You need a pretty good bed and really good meals. Who knew people from the Empire can be so picky? Yeah. Who taught them how to be so picky? Oh, what is going on with our animal situation? Um, we can... Alright. I, I don't need a caribou. So we can quietly slaughter him and make him food. I think there's a way to cheese that. Uh, the requirements or the mech cluster? Mm. 
the requirements. Oh, yeah, we'll have to see. Okay, we can speed up. Everyone else is asleep except for Arrow. Arrow is uh, a night owl, so he's active at night. Oh, did I change his schedule? Yeah, I did. Okay. Dorzo's still on his wrong ideologian, so we'll need to fix that with Cholo when they're both awake. Alright, does everyone have a gun? No, not yet. Oh, I only have 33 components. I was going to say, let's make another gun. I was like, ah, maybe I need to wait. The visitors enjoyed their stay, but they didn't leave me any presents. Why are you going to show up and not leave me any gifts? This isn't a free hotel, you know. Actually, it is. I don't charge anything. Oh, okay. Oh, we also have two prisoners we're trying to recruit that... Outlaw ethics, this Amelia has been trouble. She tried to escape and we ended up shooting off her leg. Hey, what's up, Sammy? We also have Makaroka. I don't know what their global certainty loss factor is. Oh, 80%. So it's also going to be hard to recruit them because they're <laughs> abrasive and ascetic. But we want them because they're trigger happy with an interest in melee and shooting. So they'll be a, a decent soldier. Don't let her get her medallion? I don't know that reference. This pretty arctic fox. Oh, we already have this fox is under our control. And it killed a rabbit. That's just the circle of life. Oh, Vicar Amelia. Gotcha. Okay, we should be able to hunt the ibex pretty safely. The caribou, they have a chance. It's low, but there's still a chance that they'll retaliate if we hunt them, so... Better go for the Ibex herd first. We could also crack open this uh, Ancient Danger and see what we're dealing with in there. But I don't know. I might want to try to get armor first. Do we have any quests? Here we go, like a hidden complex. How well equipped are the viewers? Well, everyone's got clothes to survive the cold. And for the most part, everyone's got a heavy SMG. Arrow's a melee guy. I'd like to get him something better than a plasteel knife. So maybe we research uh, blades and we get him a, a long sword. Until we find like a mono sword or something. Doors is on a hunting rifle. A bolt action rifle, so we need at least one better gun. Karma Kid doesn't have a gun. Maybe I should give him the auto pistol, at least that's something, right? We just need to get our temple built up the rest of the way and Darn Sig's bedroom built up the rest of the way. Those are our current two objectives. The Shiv is okay as a sidearm, but if, Car uh, if Arrow is going to be like a dedicated melee combatant, I'd like to get him a shield belt 
and a jetpack and a good melee weapon. Like something that's gonna like hurt someone when I throw them at someone. Okay, so this quest requires us to send seven people to investigate something. But it gives us information about the Supreme Cube, which is one of our artifacts for our religion. We all have five days to hack everything. Alright, if we're gonna send seven people, we need to send one person... Okay, I got a piece of paper here, we can write it down. Yeah, maybe I should take volunteers from the chat. <laughs> Alright, we need someone with a high... ...research skill. Ah, maybe we'll send Karma. We don't need to send Cholo. I don't know what else we'll, we'll need to deal with. What are we volunteering for? Uh, who wants to go on the mission to find information about the Supreme Cube? Is our master... Oh. Our master's tough, so... He takes half damage, so there's a good chance that whatever he encounters won't kill him. He's one of my best soldiers, though. If I lose him, that's like, ugh. I don't want that to happen. But it's a one-star difficulty quest, excuse me, so it can't be, can't be that rough. Alright, Darn Sig's not allowed to go, Cholo's not allowed to go, Mares isn't allowed to go. Yeah, you can't volunteer, you're not in the game yet, Rusty. Maybe we send Ken? Ken's a, a slow mover, but like, his only good stat is shooting, so this is probably what we want him for. McDougal. Alright, we'll send McDougal. Alright, three more. Arrow. When was your last raid anyways? Oh, we got raided a ton. Not too long ago. Our last stream, we got raided like three or four times. I think the good news is, while the colonists are away, our, our, our base is considered weaker, so hopefully the AI won't try to jam us full of crap. I need three people. Alright, maybe we send Arizona. Careful shooter should be good. All right, two more. All right, we're sending Dorzo. Speaking of Dorzo, we need to convert him to Stello Justice. It hasn't happened yet. All right, one more. Man, this is gonna be like all my soldiers. I hope I don't get raided. Old Cholo, no, Darn Sig is incapable of violence. No, he just has a really low shooting score, but he can call in reinforcements if we get attacked. Oh, he just had a power outage. That sucks. I find it funny that if your colonists are more valuable than the base, you get them out as a caravan, wait there until the end of the raid ends, and then bring them back. <laughs> That's a way to play around it. Alright, if we send Arrow, will we have anyone else to grow stuff? Uh, I don't want to send Arrow because he's a melee combatant, so maybe I send Josh. But look at all that... Oh, am I sending a doctor with him? Anyone with any doctoring. Dorzo has some. Arrow has some. Ken has some. Okay. 
All right, we'll send uh, Josh. All right. All right, pile in, everyone. Well, I have... Oh, I won't have anyone left to do any construction. <laughs> Get on the magic school bus, yep. Fox, it should add you at position 20. Wait, who am I missing? Karmazin, Josh, Dorzo, McDougal, Ken. Oh, Arizona didn't get in. Unless you've been in here before, Fox, and you... Why didn't it add you? I'm confused. Maybe the bot is really slow. Uh, unless you changed your name. I don't see you on the list from a previous stream. Last I remember at position 18? No, nope, you've moved up to, to position 17. Uh, Nutters, you're up to 16 now. Okay. This is the base rating. Good luck, everyone. Oh, we got a traitor just as we left. Hey, what's up, Raven? I swear the bot was working like 10 minutes ago when Niblish signed up 20 minutes ago. Alright. Our master, you're tough. You go first. Okay, an ancient terminal. That's Karma's job. Yeah, why did the bot give up on us today? Our master, you open that door. Okay, there's a terminal, but there's also an ancient, unstable fuel node. We gotta be careful of that, because the explosion could seriously hurt us. And in here, too? Oh, crap. Uh, who's got construction? Oh, our master does. Nope, don't beat the fire out. What are you doing? Alright, well, we won't be able to hack that comms console. <laughs> it's becoming self-aware. Yeah, it kind of is. No, don't do it that way. Do it from outside. Hey, what's up, Kimberly? Welcome to the stream. Go outside and deconstruct the fire room from the outside. I was just trying to do it so my pawns won't heat up and the uh, won't melt to death while waiting for the fire to go out at a thousand degrees Celsius. No, don't go in there. Yeah, it instantly went from a thousand to nineteen because it counts as outside. I can hear explosions going off 
in the other rooms. Alright. It's worse because you're in a desert. Well, at least it's raining. Okay, I'm gonna check back home. Uh, darn Sig, can you talk to the caravan before it leaves? Wait, where's the trader? Oh, why is he all the way up here? Alright, whatever. Guys, I'm really sorry. I don't know why the bot isn't working. What if I turn it off and turn it back on? Did I set fire to the supplies we were supposed to steal? No. Maybe. Oh, I remember. We needed money. So we we're going to sell off all the old leather we have. That's not good. <laughs> the simple solution, turn it off and back on again. Yeah, it always works. Alright, we sell our awful clothes. Okay, that's getting us 500 gold. Or silver, or whatever the currency is. Alright, what do they have that we want? Do they have... They have chem fuel and neurotamine. They have components. I kind of want the components. Do they have medicine? No medicine. No hyperweed. We have plenty of steel. We don't need steel. Oh, we can get reinforced barrels. We can make a mortar. Okay, how do I make this up? Okay, give them all our gold. Give them 400 pieces of cloth. We don't need dog leather. We give 300 pieces of that. Of plain leather, keep the blue fur. Hey, what's up, King Spawn? Welcome to the stream. So, we'll do it that way. Fun fact, bones that melt at around 1600 degrees Celsius. So we're two-thirds of the way there. Alright. Alright, that cleaned up our inventory. That got us some silver, so we can buy... Oh wait, we got the components. So we can make another gun. Boom. This fire's still going. Oh, Karma's still hacking, too. Now let's see if join works. Oh, it worked. Alright, um... Raven and Fox, if you guys want to try to join again, you should be able to. Don't worry, I deleted myself. I'm not going to take a spot. Why are you guys... Alright. Oh, I guess they had to put out the fire because they got too bored. Okay, we hacked two of them, and we're getting raided. <laughs> One guy named Sardine. Well, do we push our luck? Let's see what, what else is here. Hermetic crate. Hey, we got some food. Alright, what does everyone. Alright, I'll let you guys put out the fires because that's what you seem to want to do. I'm 
I'm getting raided by a can of sardines. Uh, I think it's in the RNG the RNG to oh hyperweave okay great all right all right master you're gonna have to be the one to uh oops don't go that way I don't know why you're sleeping next to the fuel cell that's gonna explode Alright, we kill the raid, and then we go home. Hey, hey, hey. alright. Go home, guys. Wait, do I have to tell them to pick everything up first maybe I don't want them to leave the <laughs> quote-unquote treasure behind ten pieces of hyperweave and four meals Well, the bot's reminding everyone to like and subscribe. If you guys want to try to get in on the list to be named, it should be open now. Why is this guy moving so slow? Is he just carrying too much stuff? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he has a bad back and he's frail, but he's got a love enhancer though. <laughs> All right, quest complete. Everyone should be coming back home soon. We a component mining worksite nearby. Let's go. Oh, that's not too far away. Guarded by two people? We might raid them here in a little bit. Did I reset the list? No, I just turned the bot off and back on again. My man's still getting the loving in their 60s. Uh, this dude is 86. Male human, 86. Born on the 11th of September. guy is old. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> La Man. Alright, I don't know if Darn Sig's here, but Darn Sig, we almost have your uh, bedroom finished. He has dementia. Can't tell a partner from a tree stump. <laughs> Whatever, man. He's got a love enhancer. That's all that ma matters. Oh, and we finished our uh, our temple. is no longer undignified. Oh, do we have any festivals? Nope, no festivals. Half attention, no problem. We just need this uh, heel root to grow in. So we have at least some medicine. Actually, you know, hunting the muffalo might be dangerous. Because they can also retaliate like the caribou. Okay, these caribou are isolated. They should probably be safe for us to attack. Making sure there's no other...
dangers to worry about. I think we're okay. All right, everyone's asleep. We'll speed things up. All right, who picked up what? Okay, Josh picked up the hyperweave. He can drop that. I think I had Aura pick up the package survival meals. He can drop those. Hopefully they don't prioritize eating the package survival meals and we can save those for, uh, what do you call it? Caravans. All right, Mayor's made another SMG. That one's gonna be Dorzo's. It's an excellent quality too. <laughs> the SMG is titled Arrow's Hero. An engraving on this weapon portrays Arrow avoiding a falling ceiling which impacts him with incredible force. He is scratched and bleeding. Two robots appear to the right of the main scene. This de depiction tells the story of Arrow nearly crushed by falling objects on the 12th of April, May. When was Arrow almost crushed by falling objects? Oh, when they... When the pirates invaded his bedroom, that's what happened. <laughs> What a story. I remember that. That was one heck of a raid. Pirates have no respect for the sleep deprived. Yeah, I don't know why they, they picked Arrow out. 1 hell of an alarm clock. We almost lost Paco to that raid, our Great Dane. Who has a painful old gunshot injury to their spine. But thankfully still alive. Alright, how close are we to recruiting Amelia? Below 50% on both of them now, I think. 36%. Oh, I remember what we were looking for. We don't have anyone who's like a dedicated miner. So we don't have anyone who's really digging at the quarry. To come up with goodies for us. That's oh, an art bench. Okay. Well, we got slate blocks to make floors and granite to make walls. Yeah, I can't build walls on the the marsh there. I thought he was gonna die. He was gonna get attacked by the caribou, but he took it out in time. But he was just gonna leave it out there to rot. Oh, you can, <laughs> you can do. Uh, the ceremony again just with a penalty for doing it recently I'm not going to force it though right. make another layer of meal pillows oh solar flare all of our electricity 
just went out. Do I have to make another fermenting barrel if this one got ruined? I was hoping someone would come over and make actual beer. Oh, I have to tell them to make wart first. I'm noticing a lot of skulls on spikes. Yeah, we, uh, we like skull spikes. They're desired. It's part of being a raider. We have, we have a small collection of five. It really brings the room together. Uh, I mean, we get uh, mood buffs from being near it. Let's see, look. One to his mood from being near a skull spike. Alright, we have beer brewing. In six days, we'll have 15 beer, I think. Skull spikes are good feng shui. <laughs> Bring one, put one up and instantly slacking goes down. That's a, not a pleasant sound for the beer making. I make a second barrel? Actually, yeah. Hey, the solar flare is ending. It, it actually doesn't... I wonder why our batteries can't charge us during a solar flare. Or do they just get disabled too? So we got 15 wart and we can make a couple more. How many rat carcasses per barrel within standard? No, oh, it's just the sound of the water pouring into another container. That makes me go, oh, that's an unfortunate sound. We're just, we got a stockpile of food for the winter, so that's why I'm so worried about all the hunting and rice uh, growing going on. <laughs> Solar Flare tells electricity it's not safe to play and it should stay home. Sounds about right. Okay, what if we can harvest this Ambrosia? And no one get addicted to it, and then we can sell it for profit. It's just a naturally growing plant. We're not doing, we're not doing anything to it. We're not, uh, what would you call it? Refining it or anything. I'm sure someone's made that excuse before. All right, let's see if we can't
If the buyers become addicted, you know, you'll have even more profit. <laughs> hey, what's up, Headless? Hey, what's up, Indumati? Welcome, welcome. Going pretty good. I'm trying this thing out where I stream uh, an hour earlier. I did this... Um, well, with uh, Disaster and Grim, I started an hour earlier than I normally would. But it was still, like, fine for me schedule-wise. So I was like, why don't I just stream an hour earlier and try to give you guys more content? So we'll try it today and tomorrow. See how I feel, but so far so good. Saw you were alive, thought I would stop by. Hey, thanks! Even just, uh, stopping by and helping the view count helps me beat the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Sorry, if you see my cheeks puff up a bunch. Um, I, doctor said I need to drink a lot of fluids. It pleases the great gods of YouTube. Yes, the almighty algorithm. And Susan the Hierophant. Who translates the the algorithm's will to us. Does magic have huge wall of text card effects even with keywords? No, um... I, I, a lot of the older cards would... But I would say for the most part, the average magic card, I, I don't think there's, you could find magic cards that had like paragraphs of, te or a paragraph of text, but that would be an old card trying to describe a very specific effect that didn't exist as a keyword yet. But for the most part, no. What's really funny though, is one of my favorite Magic the Gathering cards called Acroma. A-K-R-O-M-A. -A. Uh, she's really funny because she has a lot of keywords on her card. Hang on, I'm t I don't remember all of them, so I'm looking it up. Flying, First Strike, Vigilance, Trample, Haste, Protection from Black, Protection from Red. Those are all keywords. She has seven keywords. One of my favorite cards in Magic the Gathering. I have, uh... I have some prints of her red and white artwork that I need to get framed. They look really cool. I Maybe I should frame them and then I can take pictures and show you guys. Oh, you do enjoy the streams. Thank you. That means a lot to me to hear. I also have some prints of uh, Fire Emblem and Berserk that I probably should get uh, framed and put up so my apartment looks like someone lives here and not just I'm renting the space. Think of a magic card off the top of my head that has a lot of rules text. Oh, Garuk Relentless. Okay. So here's how you can get a card that has a lot of text on it. In Dumati. I'm not sure how familiar familiar you are with Magic the Gathering. But uh some magic cards have a front and a back to them. And will have rules on both the front and the back. Uh <laughs> so if you look up Garuk Relentless you'll see the front face of the card, which has three abilities. And then the back of the card, which has three abilities. 
totaling 112 words. I want an MTG card that unfolds like a paper map. We're probably not that far off since they had dungeon cards in the D&D &D set. Yeah, text on the front and back. Um, yeah, bloody hell, no one told Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I, I was joking on the Indumati's post. He, he put... Um, uh, Indumati posted a uh, a card from Yu-Gi-Oh. It was like, hey, Magic players, do you think this card is good? And I saw it had like eight lines of text. And I was like, I'm not going to bother. I said, this is literally a novel. And I think that's why Indumati asked, hey, is there a Magic card with a lot of text? And f for a brief moment, I forgot about front uh, dual-facing cards. I'm like, oh, yeah. I guess there are cards that have a lot of text. What about BFM? Big furry monster. Uh, you may you must play both BFM cards to put BFM into play. If either BFM card leaves play, sacrifice the other. It can only be blocked by three or more creatures. It's a 99 power, 99 toughness with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen black symbols to cast. Um, but no, Garuk has more text on it. He's a, he's a big guy. Welcome to YouTube. Oh, thank you. We've been here a little while. Oh, darn Sig is no longer inspired. Uh, I'm fairly confident the only furniture you use is the PC and chair. All the other furniture is for Rocky. Yes. <laughs> Rocky... Gets on the couch, he gets on the bed. He's nice enough to share the bed with me. <laughs> he's he's a bed hog, though. Um, my neighbor offered to pet sit him one time when I went out for a work trip. And I, when I picked him up, she told me that he was pushing and edging and like shoving her off the bed all night like he just kept wiggling closer and closer but it wasn't like to snuggle in it was I want the whole bed to myself <laughs> I think Chains of Mephistopheles is like 70 words on the card yeah that's one of the cards I was thinking of that had a lot of rules to it Yeah, that looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. If a player would draw a card, except the first one they draw on each of their draw steps, that player discards the card instead. If a player, if the player discards a card this way, they draw a card. If the player doesn't discard a card this way, they put the top card of their library into their uh, graveyard. Holy cow. I don't get what the point is. Because you would draw, discard, and then if you discard, you draw again. I used to own a playset of them. Isn't this like a $200 card? Uh, I'm sorry. A $1,000 card? Do you still have a playset of them, Jenna? Because that's some money right there. I hope you still have them and you can sell them. You traded them in a while back. Oh, I, I hope you got a good deal on them. <laughs> I don't know what the magic card market is anymore, but it was like, oh, that used to be a... Uh, uh, a two hundred dollar card. I was like, no, <laughs> you wish it was a two hundred dollar card. Bought them for four fifty, sold them for seven ninety. Yeah, you made a you made a killing. Hang on, while I'm thinking about it, how much is Lion's Eye Diamond? Hey, what's up, Mike? Oh, do you want me to put the apostrophe in? Is 
Wait, why why is Lion's Eye down? I've been sitting on two Lion's Eye diamonds for ages, thinking that they're never gonna come up. Or and they're never gonna be reprinted. So I've just been like, alright, eventually, you know, these will you know, spike and I'll, I'll drop my two. Hey, what's up, McDougal? Are we winning? Yeah, I think so. Uh, did we do the quest for the relic? We did. I think you missed it. Oh, God. Alright, is the rest of the herd coming after us? Okay. Wait, who pissed off the muffalo? Or did it just go crazy on its own? Oh, it went crazy on its own. Alright. So you're sitting on some decent money there, yeah. But I can't remember what I, I can't remember what I traded for them. So I don't know. I was hoping they'd be closer to like seven hundred, but it. I I just looked at the price history. A year ago they were like six hundred dollars, and now they're sitting at like four forty. Which edition? It was only ever printed in one edition. It was only ever printed in Mirage. There's no other versions of uh, Lion's Eye Diamond. Reminds me of a video where someone had an unopened box of Pokemon cards, bought for one million, opened it up, it was full of knockoff G.I. Joe cards. Oh, was that uh, Logan Paul who got scammed on that one? There was a whole saga of Logan... I think it was Logan Paul who got scammed on Pokemon cards. I like... Uh... <laughs> He went to a uh, he went to a card shop that I actually know about because it's not that far away from me, to like have them uh, verify that it was like a legit box with the legit plastic wrapping and stuff. And the shop goes, yeah, yeah, it looks good to me. And then it turns out like these guys had never verified Pokemon cards before in their life. They just wanted to get in on the scam too. What do my null rod is worth? I know that card's spiked. 60? Oh, that card's been climbing in price, though. Looks like I got limited reprints in Vintage Masters. Was Vintage Masters a paper product? I thought that was an... Yeah, it's a Magic Online only reprint. Yeah, Vintage Masters never printed, wasn't physical cards. Yeah, now I'm trying, now I'm worried about the rest of my collection. I thought my cards were worth more <laughs> than they, they might actually be worth. I, yeah, I've been out of MTG for like five years. I need to, I need to price out and sell my collection. Dorzo, did you get your haircut yet? He might wake up and do it. Mares is idle. Mares, what do you want to do? Maybe you can make a gun for Karma Kid. What does haste do? It allows direct attacks, right? No, in Magic the Gathering, when you play a creature, it's a th the turn that it's played, it's considered to have something that they call summoning sickness. Which means you can't tap, use any abilities that require tapping it, like for mana, and you can't attack with it that turn. The exception is, if you have haste, you can attack that turn, or you can tap it, you can use a tap ability that turn. So haste is, is like one of the most aggressively uh, skewed keywords. Because a, a, an aggressive deck is going to want to play a creature and attack with it that turn. So that way the opponent doesn't have a chance to remove the creature. Or if they do remove the creature, that creature's already got an attack off. So it's already done its job, reduced your life total. You know, then you can go, okay, alright, you can kill it now. It's already dealt its three damage to you. 
So that's what haste is. Try to think of. Do I have. What's my Ugin worth? Oh. They printed a rarer Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Because I have the Ugin's Fate promo Ugin. Wow, that's been coming down in price. That was a hundred bucks and now it's trending down? I thought the special artwork would make it hold its value. Rip. In Yu-Gi-Oh, basically all cards have haste. Nope, not in Pokemon or not in Magic. Oh, did I spell this wrong? Is it is it Tarm Ogoif? Yeah. <laughs> what? Why is how? What did they do to the game? Tarmogoyf is down to like 15 bucks each. This used to be a hundred dollar card. I'm losing my mind at the magic market right now. $15 for Tarmogoyf. Alright, what's Snapcaster Mage at? This is gonna... I'm getting triggered looking at these. 16 bucks for a Snapcaster Mage. Down from 60 a year ago. Oh my god. I missed my window for selling out. Now my cards are worth nothing. Oh my god. Alright, let's fast forward through the night. This reminds me of a friend who sold a CSGO knife and bought a GPO. <laughs> well worth it. No, it's not <laughs> bankruptcy saga. <laughs> No, it's just, uh, don't invest in cardboard is the, uh, is the lesson to take away from here. All right. Um, okay. What, what can't go wrong in pricing? Uh, what am I? City of traders. Oh, why is this coming down in price? Three hundred dollars a year ago? I paid a hundred bucks for this card, and it's worth two hundred dollars now. I guess a year ago is when I should have sold out of Magic. All right, what about a foil Arid Mesa from Zendikar? 70 bucks. Oh my god, it used to be 90. God, my my heart just sank. Oh, my cards. Card prices in Yu-Gi-Oh are wild. New cards at C-Player are worth a lot until they get reprinted. Yeah, it just feels like that they've just done so many reprints lately that all the prices on, on cards are down. Right, let's get shields so we can make a shield belt for Arrow.
don't know. Maybe I should sell now before they make like eight more reprints and then everything go goes from $15 to $5. Try, all right. What's a card? I keep trying to think of like rare cards in my collection. And then I'm like, there's no way that this card is bad. It has gone down in price. Eight bucks for Kalia. Holy cow. All right. Uh, risk the redeemed in foil. Okay. This is still a hundred dollar foil. Thank God. Uh, Sliver Legion in foil. $300?! Alright, we hit a jackpot on one card. My foil Sliver Legion. Hell to the yeah. Alright, I have money. <laughs> it doesn't make up for all the losses on the all the other cards, but it's something. A win is a win, yeah. I, I I took like 10 L's, but I got one W. Put that on the scoreboard. Sorry, I, <laughs> I have a friend I uh, used to play Magic with, and I was like, bro, what the hell happened to card prices? And he's like, yeah, those cards aren't played anymore. Okay, so the Snapcaster and Tarmogoyf, the two cards I was, like, busting a nut over, were, like, format-defining cards. But I guess, apparently, in the last four or five years, they've printed so many good cards that the good cards that I'm familiar with are no longer good. Y'all weirdos trading cards while the real treasure my pogs... <laughs> where where are my beanie baby collectors at? Did anyone else get in on beanie babies? You want to know real pain? I had two of every one of the original run of Pokemon cards and gave them away to Goodwill in 2018. Yeah, that Goodwill employee, if they knew, what they, they were very happy for you for doing that. If you want to know real pain, I had a friend who foiled out a deck in Magic the Gathering. And this was like a top... That, not top, but a good deck to play in the format. Um, and the cards weren't cheap. Like, the normal version of some of his cards were like $70. So, like, foil, you can imagine, was anywhere from two to five times the cost for some of those cards, right? And, again, not a top-tier deck, but a very consistent, very good mid-range deck. I played this deck. I really enjoyed this deck. It was a lot of fun. Uh, coincidentally enough, it was called Birthing Pod, but, uh, that doesn't matter. But Wizards of the Coast said, hey, we don't like this deck being so consistent, so we banned the namesake card. Right after my friend had foiled every card in the deck. Something like $6,000 in, in trades and card value to make that foiled deck. Uh, he quit the game. He has not played Magic since. I mean, it was such a big F you from Wizards of the Coast. Just say, hey, your deck isn't, like, uh, warping the format. It's not a... It's not a degenerate combo deck like, uh, um, what was it? Splinter Twin or Infect or Tron. No, no, no. It's just a deck that's really consistent. Wizards R and D needs to get off the crack pipe. <laughs> I've been saying that for like seven years. It feels like right before I quit. Wait, they let a two card infinite combo go through in standard. Oh, who who saw that coming? There are absolutely disgusting modern decks that can uns that can slaughter you in three to four turns with commons and uncommons. Well, so the 
the thing that pissed me off about Magic's direction for bans and unbans was always like, all right, we want Modern to be a turn four format. So by turn four, people should be winning games or getting close to winning games. And we don't want... Uh, we don't want people to... Uh, be, be consistently winning a turn earlier than that, you know, so we don't want people to use cards like fast mana, aka cards that generate more mana than it costs to cast them, so you couldn't do any of the rituals. But then they left Simeon Spirit Guide unbanned, which is a card that you discard from your hand to get an extra mana point for the turn. It's like, oh, okay, we, weren't, we aren't banning that. Uh, they didn't ban Eldrazi Temple until that card became a problem. I think they banned Eldrazi Temple. And then Infect, which can kill you on, like, turn two, turn three if they have a bad draw, never had anything banned from it. Birthing Pod, which can cast and activate Birthing Pod on turn four at the earliest. But that was just to go and find a value creature. It was never like, I'm playing and activating my Birthing Pod and killing you this turn. And Splinter Twin, they banned that card, but that was a four mana card. So you would play your three drop, your three mana untapper, and then the four mana uh, infinite combo card. But on turn four. So it was like, wait, it's a turn four format, but you're going to ban a combo deck that can't kill you any faster than turn four. And we're banning a deck that doesn't even do anything on turn four, except generate some value. But we're gonna let Tron sit around? If if you have a good draw with Tron, you can go power plant, mine, tower, have seven mana, activate Karn, win the game on the spot. I hated Tron. Because it was like, oh yeah, no fast mana's not allowed and we're supposed to be a turn four format. Hey, here's a deck that wins on turn three with seven mana. I'm morbing. I am kind of going off, aren't I? I don't know. I played a lot of Magic. I put a lot of money into it. It just sucks to see it get <laughs> ruined. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this is a lot of guys. A lot of guys with guns. Seven of them. One of them with an LMG. One of them with a heavy SMG. The rest of them with revolvers and stuff. Oh, one of them's with frag, frag, yeah, blah, blah. frag grenades. Why was that so hard to say? All right, what's the trick? What's the plan? Recruit everyone. All right, we're gonna get everyone stocked up over here. Uh, hope everyone survives. Good luck. No arrow. Arrow doesn't have a gun. The reason there's a reason I strictly play casual. I just wanted to play and have fun, which is probably why my favorite deck was the one that broke my multiplayer game. It's fun to play. Um, I, I like I liked Commander a lot near the end of my Magic time. All right, darn Sig. I know you're a noble, but uh. This is an all hands on deck situation. Okay. Wait, why is Karma? I thought I told him, did he never pick up a? I should check out Mystic Mine and Skill Drain. I should. I picked up Orcs and Warhammer. I I, I played a little bit of Warhammer. I, I liked War Machine a lot better. Uh, I, the, the steampunk robots was uh was way more fun. Okay, I'm hoping that when these guys attack that they come around through this way, otherwise we're going to be in trouble.
Or we can try to come out and preemptively shoot them. Now, I think it's better if we're set up and we wait for them to come in. <laughs> Arrows by himself. Oh, I'll tend to the base, guys. I think that means we... Okay, we do have some more medicine. And we'll make a, a drug lab so we can make more medicine. In case someone gets a, a limb or an eye shot out. That's a lot of bad guys. Yeah, it's a it's a semi big raid. If it was tribals, I wouldn't be worrying about it so much. But they're outlanders or pirates, so they have guns. But they have close range guns like revolvers and machine pistols. It's the LMG, the grenade, and the um heavy SMG we'll have to look out for. The others will outrange and we should be able to kill them before they can shoot us. But otherwise this is going to be a, a, a sweaty moment. Oh, a combat supplier is coming by. <laughs> we can buy medicine from them when this... Uh, We'll have Karma call them. Actually, you know what? Karma, you can go... You just have an auto pistol. I feel bad. I need a powered orbital trade beacon. Oh, do I not have a... I don't have a trade beacon. Oh, whoops. Hey, Mix. Uh, Rocky and I are doing all right. The caravan isn't passing through raiders. No, it's a trade ship, so we'd have to communicate with them through uh, satellite radio connections. Uh, yeah, Rocky's good. I'm sick with bronchitis, unfortunately. But yeah, we're all right. All right, Outlanders are beginning their, their assault. All right. Good luck. I don't want anyone to die, but, uh... If it looks bad, I'll have Darn Sig call for reinforcements. Oh, wait! He has Blinding Pulse! <laughs> he just blinded four of them! Okay, we killed the grenade guy. Did you die? No, you're right here, McDougal. You're good. Josh got hit by a revolver, but he's okay. Dorzo got hit by an LMG, but he's okay. Are they still blind? Psychic blindness for one more hour. All right, can he cast it again? Okay, Mare's got scraped on the leg. Oh, no, major break risk. I can't do anything about that. Is Ken not shooting? Arizona's not shooting. Dorzo got hit again. All right, Dorzo retreat. All right, good job, everyone. Oh, they dropped Neurotamine. We can make medicine, good medicine off of that. It's a good LMG, good revolver. Actually, grab all this stuff. Uh, take their skulls. Woo! Psychics are very useful. Yeah, good. Uh, it's a good thing we brought Darn Sig out there to use the... Uh, his blinding pulse. Are they all dead? Uh, we let two of them live. They ran away. So hopefully they, they go home and uh, 
New Neurotamine. Neutroamine. N E U T R O A M I N E. Which I think is a made up phrase just for RimWorld. Yeah. All right, so hopefully our doctor is going to get to Dorzo soon. No, Cholo went to bed. <laughs> Darn Sig went to bed. These guys said, ah, Dorzo, you don't need medication. All right, Cholo, go heal him. All right. Gunshot wound tended to. The other gunshot wound is tended to. Oh, Mare's got shot. That's bad. We need... Mare's got shot in the neck and lived. Like, uh... The guy from Taxi Driver. <laughs> hey, tell your girlfriend. Will's streaming Rumworld. And she says, oh, I gotta watch him. Hey, I'm having a great day, Icky. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, doctor says I have bronchitis, but uh, I'll I'll have my medicine tomorrow, hopefully, and then I can get to feeling better. What happens if the psychic dies? Um, well, because the psychic is, uh, the psychic powers are tied to um, nobility. Someone will inherit his no nobility points, I guess, and then um, and then after that happens, then they learn psychic powers. So if we lose him, we'll get someone else. Got shot in the neck and walked it off. Must be a space marine. The chapter I I fell in love with the Crimson Fist when I was playing 40k because there was a story about one of the. Uh, commanders for the Crimson Fist. It was like Sergeant Cortez or something like that was his name. But in, in the story that they had in the book was that he got stabbed in one of his hearts and twisted his, his chest, his torso, with the blade still embedded in him to disarm the orc boss he was fighting and it overpowered and killed him. And I was like, oh, yeah, I want that guy on my team. I want to be like those guys. Yeah, Space Marines have multiple organs, including multiple hearts. Alright, we're just going to buy these guys out of medicine. They have 30 medicine. And Karma got it for a good price. I'll buy it at a high price. I can't remember all the specialty organs that Space Marines have. But yeah, they have multiple hearts. They have a... Uh, don't they have like an acid spit organ too? I'm trying to remember all the attachments. There's also a real story of a soldier in Vietnam. He got shot at, had to run, but made it out. Years later, during an examination, they found scar tissue on both sides of his heart. Wow, does that mean his heart got scraped by the bullets? No, shot through the heart. Hey, Dominic, thank you for raiding. I appreciate that so much. Uh, Chris Profero-kun, thank you for following over on Twitch. Welcome to the workshop. Hey, big ups to you too, man. Oh, prison break. Not again. 
Why can't you guys just sign up? Alright, our master, you might have to help Darn Sig. died. <laughs> Dominic Hype. I love that emote. That's a cute emote. Well, I guess we won't be recruiting those prisoners. Alright, well, we'll turn this into a hotel. We'll just have to We'll have to move the bodies out, scrub off the blood stains, and uh, it'll be it'll be perfect for a hotel. Here, we can even put a skull spike in there. How was your stream, Dominic? What did you play tonight? Yeah, Rimworld is a ton of fun. And I've been uh, I've been naming uh, the characters in game from uh, chat viewers. Stream went well. We actually watched Dark Souls three. This is how you don't play. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad it went well. I thought you played a game. I didn't know you uh, did a watch along. <laughs> I need to do a watch party. I keep talking about doing it, and I just need to finally pull the trigger on it. Speaking of motels with dead people, I recommend people watch the movie 1408 if you haven't watched it already. I have not seen it already. You should. It's a lot of fun. I'm torn between do I want to do a watch along of something I'm familiar with? So it's like, all right, guys, hey, let's watch, uh, I don't know, Boondock Saints together. You know, a film I've seen probably a hundred times. Or do I say, all right, guys, I've never seen Young Frankenstein, so we're doing a Young Frankenstein watch along. What do you guys think? Hey, Niblish, thank you for following on Twitch. Welcome to the workshop. Appreciate you. should watch the wizard I don't think I've seen the wizard I've never done a watch along thing but I think something that's fresh would be the most fun maybe but I do like hearing neat things people know about their favorite movies so that'd be cool too you know, maybe uh, Boondock Saints would be a lot of fun. That's a fun movie. May maybe it's I I'll do like one on one. I'll do one that I know a lot of, and then one I didn't know uh, I haven't seen yet. I didn't know you did multi platform streams. Just started last week. Obviously, obviously, we should do a Full Metal Alchemist watch party. Yeah, but the unfortunate thing about that is I'm committing to a long watch along with multiple Boondock Saints movie. Yeah, have you never seen the Boondock Saints, Rusty? I know, I think of some movies I've watched for the first time and how I can't go back and re-watch them because now I know all the twists and the biggest movie that comes to mind is The Departed. Yeah, it has Norman Reedus. That's right. Alright, maybe we do Boondock Saints so I can get my feet wet with a watch along. And then, and then we'll do something like, okay, I've never seen this film before. Let's watch it together. The Departed would be good too. Well, I love The Departed, but because I know how The Departed ends... I, I can't get the I can't get that experience of oh my god 
that the twi- the the ending has. You know, it's like watching um, Usual Suspects. Once you know who know, once you know who so and so is, and you just, you get mind blown. That's the only time you can get your mind blown by that film because then when you watch it again, you already know what's gonna happen. You know, it's still a good movie. I like watching it with people who haven't seen it, so that way they can see the reveal. But I I don't get that benefit of. Oh my god, I didn't see that coming! Hey, Star Saint Mark, thank you for following over on Twitch. I appreciate you so much. Welcome to the workshop. God, I'm trying to think of another movie that's like that. That you can only, like, experience it for the one time, and then the rest of the time is like, yeah, it's good. But I already know. Oh, am I thinking of... Lucky Number Slevin was pretty good. I don't know if that's a movie that's... Has, like, a twist like that. Boondock Saints was great. Yeah, that's a great movie. Good cast, too. I mean, um... Norman Reedus. Uh... Willem Dafoe. The guy who voiced uh, Joshua Graham's in it, too. He plays one of the detectives. What about Seven? Oh, with uh, Morgan Freeman and uh, Brad Pitt. That's a great movie. Oh, uh, another movie that, if you know the twist, Fight Club. Yeah, there was a second movie. The second movie was alright. Had a good ending. But the second movie set up a third movie, and I don't think that's going to happen because the other guy... I can't remember the actor's name. Sean Patrick Flannery. Uh, he did not age well. <laughs> uh... Norman Reedus looks like he's like he's got a portrait in like the attic that's aging instead of him but poor Sean Patrick Flannery uh, does not look like he did when that movie first came out Jesus he's my dad's age yeah the second movies where they ended inside a prison Was it cocaine or booze? Well, his name is Sean Patrick Flannery, so if I had to guess, it'd probably be booze. Real life Dorian Gray? Yeah, look at Norman Reedus now. And then look at Norm. When did Boondock Saints come out? 1999. So look at Norman Reedus now, and then look back almost 25 years. And he's he looks practically the same. I mean, some gray in the goatee, but you put a little bit of dye in that, and boom. He's, he's half his age. <laughs> look pretty young in Blade 2. Oh, I... I didn't even know there was a second Blade movie. <laughs> I saw the first Blade, and now I just realized... Now you've made me realize there's a second one I've never seen. So they had a third movie planned, but never aired it? I would guess there was a third movie because of the ending to the second movie that they wanted to do. But I don't think it ever happened. Also, movies with a good twist, The Sixth Sense, great twist, but set up Sh uh, Shamalama. Uh, that's not how you say his name. Set him up for failure. There's a third Blade movie? I didn't even know that. It's like, uh, it's like learning that there's a second and third and a fourth Matrix film. Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, Sixth Sense is good, but almost everything else that he he's directed hasn't been good M. Knight 
I actually don't know how to pronounce that last name. What's his filmography? Oh, he did Unbreakable. Unbreakable was a good movie. I'm trying to see what else he did. Signs was okay, I thought. I remember watching The Village, but I couldn't tell you anything about the plot. You didn't like The Village? I watched it, I don't remember anything about it. Is Lady in the Water... Oh, I watched this too in theaters. I didn't like this movie at all. This was a weird movie. I hope I'm feeling better. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my prescriptions yet, but, uh, I'm feeling okay. I just have a nasty cough. But right now, I'm keeping it down. Mist was LMFAO. Wait, did, he didn't direct that. Was he a producer on that? Or a writer? Shamal Shum Shul Shulmalan. Oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Oh, the mist. Okay, here we go. Two thousand seven, right? Oh, this is a Stephen King no Oh, wasn't there another movie he did but someone else took their name off of, or am I thinking of someone else? I, don't know. I liked um, I liked Unbreakable with Bruce Willis and uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Crap, I've heard so many people meme on this guy's name. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He is an American filmmaker, philanthropist, and actor. What's his name? How do you say it? M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan, okay. Alright, that's not as hard as I thought. It's just I've heard, like, Family Guy and South Park and other people rip on his, you know, Shyamalan that I just, I don't know how to say it correctly anymore. There were more Blade movies planned, but Wesley sniped his career. Ugh. How many do they have planned? Yeah, Stephen King wrote The Mist. I don't know who said... Oh, it was uh, Chris who said Mist was LMFAO, but then... Corrected himself. Oh, okay. Of these guests, are there any we want to be friends with? Booker... Slow learner, misogynist, optimist, high shooting, mining, and medical. No health issues. All right. We can be friends with him. Uh, Drang. Construction, animals, medical, lazy and kind. Eh. She has venom fangs, though. That's kind of cool. Howard. Crafting, artistic, medical, hardworking, psychopath. Only a aching wound in the torso. Uh, I'll recruit Howard. Maybe he can be a dedicated artist and we can make money that way too. Tim. Psychopath abrasive. Also artist. And melee. Any health trouble? Just a st stab scar in the leg. Alright. We can recruit him. Did I find a video game streamer yet? Uh, I didn't check the backgrounds. In end world urchin, coma child, shelter child, budding artist. Actually, does that show up as childhood or adulthood? Abandoned child. Man, these people had poor childhoods. Tribe child, vengeful child, 
Reclusive child. Bookworm, vengeful, coma. Yeah, I haven't seen, um... <laughs> Booker is sickly. Sickly. Musical. Cult child. <laughs> No, no uh, video game streamers yet, but I do know that's a profession you can roll in your, your background. Wesley Snipes plays a really good bad guy in Demolition Man. Yeah, he does. Jill showed me Demolition Man not too long ago. That was a good movie. I, I love Sylvester Stallone. He's... I, I have not hated a single film that he's been in. Oh my god. And who cares? He sounds like he got punched in the face. Yeah, that's the terrible Stallone impression. Alright, forget that I tried to do that. But he, he talks like he's just been punched in the mouth. But I still... He's still hilarious. He played Dread in the older Dread movie. Um... I just watched a film. Uh, I just watched a film where he played like the final bad guy in. It was a poker film. I can't remember what it was called now. Uh, Judge Dredd with Stallone is a guilty pleasure. Yeah, I am the love. That, that I felt like that was a better Stallone impression. I'll give myself more credit for that. He does have partial facial paralysis. Oh my god! I didn't know that! I wouldn't have made fun of him for that! If I knew that! I didn't know that! Oh man! Well, good for him for being a successful actor despite that. Holy shit! What about the Aliens movies? Did I like those? I... Have I seen Alien? <laughs> Someone's gonna kill me. I've had to have seen Alien. Come on, it's a classic sci-fi movie. I made fun of the way he talked. I have seen Alien. I did like Alien. I don't know if I've seen Aliens. I might not have seen the sequel. I don't think I've seen the sequel. Is going to be my guess. I have seen the first one. Jill Jill would not let me live on this planet. Is it Alien or Aliens with the really creepy face lick scene? I don't know. Jill, Jill liked the artist that designed the Xenomorphs. I can't remember his name. And she showed me a lot of his artwork. So I, I would not be alive... She would hate me if I had not seen it. That's Aliens 3. Okay. Geiger. Yes, thank you. That's H.R. Geiger. Yeah, she's a fan of his art. So, uh, I, I had to have seen a, a couple uh, Aliens films at this point. Because she likes his artwork. Oh, Josh's sexy corded arrow. Arrow is attracted. It is now Josh Saxy's lover. We have two. We have two new lovers in the colony. Speaking of Alien, you should play Alien Isolation if you haven't already. I've never played it, but that's a good idea. I was thinking about playing Mortuary Assistant for uh, October as well. Vasquez, what a badass she is! Is that the same badass girl from Resident Evil? And every other film that she's been a badass. Kim, not Camille Vasquez. That's the attorney. Oh, I'm thinking of Michelle Rodriguez. I'm sorry. Sorry. I like Michelle Rodriguez. <laughs> I 
I think I've liked every film I've seen her in, but she plays the same character in every movie. Hey, have a good night, McDougal. I think the Species movie is based on his art, too. Oh, he literally did the art. What's Species? 1995. Oh, yeah, I could see the influence. Alright, what happened? Eclipse? Alright, no big deal. You mean wife of the director? I mean, isn't that the joke of that actress? Not Michelle Rodriguez. No, no, you're thinking of... Um... Oh, God. What's the actress's name from Resident Evil? Mila Jovovich. She's hot, though. I don't, you know what? I like the Resident Evil movies. <laughs> if, you, if you forget that there's a video game based off of them, I think they're okay films. There can't be good fun. Yeah. The first one. Oh, it's so good. With the, the laser the laser room hallway scene. Oh. It fell off after like the third one. I think it fell off after the second one, to be honest. But I the first one I still think is pretty good. Yeah, the meat cubes. And what was that, 2002? The CGI for that is really good. I thought the effects for that movie were, was really good, especially when I, I could say, wow, that was 20 years ago. The laser scene Capcom backported into Resident Evil 4 to have Leon dodge them. That's awesome. Oh, I know absolutely it doesn't follow the game. That's why I say if if you took the Resident Evil title off of it and you didn't have anyone named Wesker and you didn't have anyone uh, a company named Umbrella Corps, you could you could probably still get away with it being okay, but it's like I don't know. They they tried to steal the hype from it being a video game film and then were not true to the video game. Okay. Let's make 35 medicines. I'll give you the first three. Hey, I'm not even... I'm not defending the third one. I liked the first two. And I'm stopping there. I want to watch the Netflix Resident Evil. Wait, no, Netflix isn't making a Resident Evil, are they? No. The Nemesis costume in two? Hang on, I'm gonna have to look it up. Oh. They got Nemesis pretty spot on, didn't they? In the second film? I don't remember him. They got Lance Reddick from The Wire to be Wesker. Of course, when I start typing his name, that's the first thing that shows up. You know... He does look pretty villainous in some of these shots. I don't... I don't think I hate it. They're adding Wesker to Dead by Daylight? Uh-oh. I haven't seen The Wire, but I heard The Wire was good. How, who's Paula Nunes? She looks familiar, too. 
What do I know her from? I don't know her from anything. Why did I think she was in The Boys? No, no, she's not. Okay, I thought she was someone else. Never mind. He's also Charon in the John Wick movies. Oh, yeah, he is. A lot of people say The Wire's up there with Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, and Sopranos. I've heard that, too. Like, um... When, we, when Breaking Bad was still airing on TV, like, brand new, I had, a, I had a friend who was, like, when Breaking Bad ended, and I was, like, mildly depressed, I was like, oh, my God, I haven't seen a TV, TV show as good as Breaking Bad, and I don't think I ever will. He's like, bro, you gotta check out The Wire, and I still have yet to check out The Wire. <laughs> Dominic says The Wire is my favorite show of all time. It's so good. Okay, where can I watch The Wire? Is on Netflix, HBO Max, Hulu. Okay, all right. I've got options. I can check it out. Breaking Bad brings depression. As a Baltimore native, watch The Wire. All right, I'll have to check it out. A lot. Uh, GF and I have been pretty interested in it, but haven't started it yet. I'll have to watch it. I used to live near Baltimore a long time ago for like two years. Have I been watching Better Call Saul? Last episode airs next week. You know, I don't know what happened with me and Better Call Saul, but I watched the first episode and then never watched it again. Hey, what's up, common gentlemen? How are you doing? Baltimore makes me feel like I'm in the wire in some places. <laughs> the first season's pretty slow, I don't blame you. I've I've heard Better Call Saul is right up there with being as good as Breaking Bad. And I thought in my Breaking Bad depression that I would wa end up watching it and then I didn't get into it, so I and it's not fair for me to judge the show for being slow because uh Breaking Bad was very slow at some points, especially early on. Bro, I remember when that last, the last chunk of season five finally got uploaded to Netflix. So I didn't have TV at the time. I, I, I only streamed my stuff basically. Um, so I couldn't watch Breaking Bad as it was airing, but I remember, uh, when I could finally catch it on Netflix and they, they uploaded the second half of the last season. I stayed up for, uh, until seven in the morning finishing Breaking Bad. I think because the tone has shifted from meth to lawyer drama, it felt slow. I like lawyer drama, though. Breaking Bad is a good show. Breaking Bad's a fantastic show. And as, as <laughs> silly as it sounds, when I finished it, I was in this depression of... I've never been so invested in a TV show before my life. And then I was like, I'm never going to see anything as good as, uh, as breaking bad sense. I was like, that's it. Like I, I could rewatch it, but I've been watching Queens blade lately. Hang on. I think I've seen that before. If that's what I think it is. Oh, that's a... No, wait. This isn't the show I thought it was. What is... 
I, I hope you're enjoying that, Rusty. I can't show you this on, on stream. That is not the show I thought it was. <laughs> what was I thinking of? There's a show that has Queen in the title. It's an anime, and it's a chick that turns into, like, an alien thing to fight other... She turns into, like, a sexy alien to fight other sexy aliens. Ah, uh, I can't remember. And she has, like, a daughter or something. I know, great, great description. Go off of that, tell me what it's called. Not Queen's Blade. Unless there was multiple Queen's Blades. It only had one season. Or was it Witchblade? Oh no, it was Witchblade. Thank you, Aura Master. It was Witchblade. I thought when you said Queen's Blade that you were talking about Witchblade. But I was wrong. I was very wrong. <laughs> I will say the actress for Kim and the actor for Jimmy slash Saul Goodman deserve awards for their performances. Uh, is uh, Odin Kirk? I know is the actor for Saul Goodman. Is it Pretty Cure Milf Edition? It might it might might have been. I haven't seen Pretty Cure, but also what's up, Blazing Frost? came in at the uh, weird almost hentai show discussion uh, if you uh, hopefully the bot didn't bust oh Blazing Frost you're already on the list you're number 5 the cover of Witchblade why am I just now hearing about this it's one season Dominic and it's it's okay like there there were things I wish it would have done differently but it it I don't know it's it's all right it's I think it's based off of a western comic too if I'm not mistaken I liked the combat in it hey what's up ANTN you don't need to apologize for lurking I'm, I'm glad you're using me as background noise All right, the eclipse is ending. We're officially in fall. Blade is a gauntlet that only women can use, yes. We got some jamming tunes tonight. Yeah, I might get. I have to warm up my drink. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry, doctor said to keep drinking hot stuff, so decided to warm up. <laughs> I know he said tea, but I was like, oh, coffee's like tea, right? So I had to get the rest of my coffee. 
Coffee is just bean tea. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think I saw like an anime music video that had clips of Witchblade in it. And I was like, alright, I, I have to see this anime. And then I did. And I was like, oh, I think I've, I'm better for it. Hey, they liked their stay that they left a t-shirt. Oh. We didn't make friends with any of the ones we want to make friends with. Oh, well. We scored a 100 on the uh, hospitality. Good deal. All right. I need to wall in my pets, my animals. And then maybe try like wall in this half and then force people to come in this side. Then we'll set up our kill box like right here. Chainsaw Man anime comes out in October. Oh, yes. I was just talking to Jill about buying all of the books. I was like, honey, you'd read them, right? I wouldn't be buying them just for me. And she's like, I don't know. What's the show about? And I'm like, okay, it's like Attack on Titan and Berserk and... Actually, I don't know what else I could mix it with. I don't know. It feels like Attack on Titan because you get the whole body horror, I have to become the thing I hate to destroy the thing I hate kind of element to it. I don't know. I need, to, I need to read more of it. But the second trailer looked so good. And the first trailer was pretty good, too. It's like Attack on Titan because he smacks you in the face right off the bat, too. Yeah. That's also like Attack on Titan with the, uh... No one is safe. Plot armor? What's that? LOL. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't wait. All right, we got we can do two festivals. Well, should we do them now or later? What's everyone up to? Alright, let's do a festival now. And we'll do another one tomorrow. Go make your lanterns! And set them to the sky, and hopefully people will see them and want to join the colony. We're gonna watch the new horror movie. It's Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I've never heard of this. Oh. This is a real movie? I thought this was like a Twitter meme. Like, what if we took, like... Any other horror film bad guy and just put a Winnie the Pooh mask on him. This does not look like a film I could take seriously. Okay. Jill is the horror movie buff. If she wants to watch it, I will watch it with her. But this is not a film that I would go out of my way to watch. I, I haven't watched a movie since uh, uh, Avengers anyways. So, <laughs> to let you know, I have not, I have not seen anything recent. So, 
The chances of me watching this isn't going to be high either. Ooh, ancient spacecraft hacked. hack. Oh, okay, so we call down a space drone and hack it. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Dominic, thanks for raiding. Go enjoy dinner. And, uh, yeah, if you leave me on in the background, I'd appreciate it. Thanks, dude. But, yeah, it was nice talking. Oh, it was just, it was just beautiful. But not beautiful enough to recruit anyone. All right. Okay. We have 30 days to hack it once we call it down. We'll be attacked by tribes people while... Uh, who will try to destroy it. How many steps does it take to find the artifact? Maybe it's... Oh, it's five steps. We've only done one. So this will be... This will get us another 20% of the way there. All right. Maybe I'll accept that in the morning when more people would be awake. It's because Winnie the Pooh became public domain. Ah. Uh -uh. Yeah, wasn't Disney like excuse me, like petitioning the government again and again and again to keep expanding how long public it, it, it would be till something could go, become public domain. I guess it just caught up with them and they couldn't keep going anymore. Alright. We can work on deep drilling and ground penetrating radar. Orders, but I don't think we or prosthetics actually getting prosthetics might be important in case you survive but you're missing a leg I want to I want to heal you Let's take something kid-friendly and make it into a horror movie thing is quite stale already. Yeah, didn't they do that with, um... That clown movie? I know it wasn't a children's movie to begin with, but... It still was, um... I don't know, t you take a clown which is... It, yeah, it. You take a clown, which is a children's character, and you make a horror character out of it. Good job, Stephen King. Research blades, so now we can make a plasteel sword for arrow. Long sword, here we go. Stephen King has a lot of books with the same idea, ordinary item but evil. Yeah, Family Guy made fun of that. Like, it was, uh, it was the publisher sitting down with Stephen King and a Family Guy skit going, All right, Mr. King, what's the what's the plot of your next book? And Stephen King's like, Uh, 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 a lamp becomes possessed by a ghost. Ooh, ah! And the guy sighs, rolls his eyes, and goes, When can I expect the script? You know, <laughs> like, they're going to publish it. It's Stephen King. The name's strong enough to carry it anyways, but it's like... It's obviously an ordinary item became evil. Oh no.
Family Guy had good jokes. Oh, we're, we're running out of wood. Time to chop down more trees. Let's go. I'll start with Christine, the car killer car. Okay. He has so many books, bound to run out of ideals eventually. Yeah, and I think I'd rather be the Simpsons or the Stephen, Stephen King. And, uh, instead of the, uh, the person that comes two years later, it's like, uh, oh, hey, I'm writing this book about this mysterious fog, and you're like, the, S Stephen King did it, Stephen King did it, hey, what's up, Sansa, how are you doing? On Stephen King, though, one thing was awesome. The movie Maximum Overdrive, where trucks became possessed and killed people. He wrote the script for that while high. Good for him. Can't imagine trying to write an entire novel while high. Doing pretty good. Hey, I'm alright. Um, just have... <laughs> Doctor says I have bronchitis. But so far, so good. Oh yeah, I've had it before too. I, I was just like, I've had this cough for for you know three weeks, and I was like, all right, my cough isn't going away. It's not getting better. It was it was getting chunkier. So I was like, all right, I I should go see the doctor. And the doctor just says, yep, we'll uh, we'll get you some medicine, and you should be better in a few days. I was like, oh man, I should have saw seen you a couple weeks ago. <coughs> so I wouldn't have been suffering this whole time. Right, we're running out of food again. And we're in the fall, so we need to start preparing for winter. Of course he was high. The only way to stop it is to summon the Celestial World Turtle. That's stuff you can't make up sober. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Some of that stuff, though, I feel like you gotta recruit a, a little kid with an imagination that's like in outer space. You know, he, he's like, the Lorax is a bad guy. And you're like, okay, well, Timmy, tell me what stops the Lorax. And he says, the Celestial World Turtle. It's like, where do you get these ideas? Okay. Um, this guy has rescued two tribes people. He wants me to guard them for 10 days. They will not do any work. If we make them happy, we'll gain goodwill. And he's offering a masterwork jump pack or a bionic leg with some jade. I might take the jump pack because if I can give Arrow the jump pack and the shield belt and a plasteel longsword, they'll make him a pretty scary melee unit. And also the jet pack's the most worthwhile item there. When I cough or sneeze, does it feel like my chest is on fire spreading from inside out? No, when I cough, it feels like needles are poking into my lungs every time. <coughs> Speak of the devil. It's not a fire, it's a poke. You should check the general chat in Discord. What did you do? I posted an email and a little thing. Uh, we got to keep these tribes people happy. Elk and Yak. Oh, but these guys, aren't they cannibals? Oh, no. Okay, they're part of the stoned post Theridia. They're nudists. <laughs> you can have three, three spouses in their religion. I gotta talk to my doc. I've been having on and off headaches since I fell three weeks ago. Did you fall and hit your head? Yeah, you do need to see a doctor if you did that. 
Alright, you guys can be patient and bed rest, nothing else. <coughs> oh, I don't have one of those things to smelt um, slag metal in. What are they called? An electric smelter. Let's get one of those built. I'm not worried as well. I've been suffering coughs in the morning and sometimes when I while I'm at work occasionally. I think it's post nasal drip or pollen allergies. Yeah, my seasonal allergies tend to hit near the end of summer anyways too. You didn't find what I did weird? My message is on the wrong side. Uh, it's not displaying it on the wrong side for me, sorry. If you were trying to show show something off, I'm not getting it. Oh, do we need to get elk and yaks and warm clothes? Alright. Where's my tailoring bench? Oh, it does work on mobile. Yeah, it's not working for me, sorry. Also on games, Bully came out so long ago that Rockstar announced the sequel. You can play as Jimmy Hopkins' child. He was 15 in Bully. The game came out almost 18 years ago. So you play as, uh, he'll be 33 and he'll have a 15 year old kid now. All right, smelt metal from slag. Do forever. Yeah, 18 years ago, that's a that's quite a while. Speaking of games, I hope I'm not gonna run out of Hopium before a TGS. TGS. Huh? What? Tokyo Game Show. Okay. Gotcha. Arabic symbol thing that allows you to put text on the right side. That makes sense for their language. Alright, my hunters are hunting again. walls again we got this little wall for this corner built up get this corner walled off and then I'll try to get a kill box set up on this side try to get some warm clothes for our guests the medicine problem has been solved by the way we're up to 50, 59 medicine. Elden Ring has a new patch, Rip Bloodhound Step and Rivers of Blood. Yeah, I put out a TikTok today celebrating the uh, Rivers of Blood nerf. 
If you guys remember, uh... <laughs> When we were lining up to do Horalu and we're on that great bridge, and that that guy that guy invaded me twice. He had the jar helmet and the cape. I think it was the jump attack cape, the blood raptor's feathers or whatever it's called. And uh, he he ran up and tried to rivers of blood, and I just charged my weapon art with the executioner's sword, and I just went. Blech. One shot him. It was so good. I put up a TikTok today for it, and then the, I'll upload it on YouTube on Thursday. Um, because I won't be streaming on Thursday, so there will be some content while I'm not streaming being created. Yeah, we drilled him. We, we drilled him. That's right. I killed him this the first time he invaded too, but I didn't do anything fancy. I just, um, I just outpoised his corpse piler. So like he's using the rivers of blood weapon art, and I just, <laughs> I just poise right through it and just go slam, slam, slam with the sword and killed him. And he had he had no poise because he was wearing, I don't know. <laughs> Not good armor, let's say. And I just staggered him and, and, and just went stun locked him. I was like, alright, that one wasn't as satisfying. But then the second time he shows up and I just I drilled him and it was like, oh that was satisfying. Oh, were we gonna put the psychic reader on Darnsig? Because he's psychically sensitive and it can give him the upper hand in social interactions. I might still do that. Oh, that expired. That's fine. No big loss on that quest. Excuse me. Okay. I'm going to... Forbid the package survival meals, so that way we save them for a caravan. Oh, we have beer now. Okay. Alright, everyone's allowed to use social drugs. Okay, which means smoke leaf and beer. That's fine. Oh, Blazing Frost dropping the Surge code in chat. Good luck, everyone. I think I already have the Surge. I do. Bought it in 2019 and never installed it. Oh my god. But yeah, I'm not going to be trying to get that. So if you don't have the Surge, pick it up. It's like a, it's a Dark Souls clone. And the Surge, too. Which I also have. So I won't be going after that. Fixed a bug in some maps where, uh, that allowed users to reach unexpected locations using certain procedures. Oh dear, speedrunners won't be happy about that. It's, um... Yeah, they, they always take, like, a random tree out every patch, it feels like. Just that way, uh, speedrunners <laughs> have to try a little bit harder to break the game. screenshot those codes. They're Steam codes, Rusty. You have to go in and, and apply them on Steam. But you're competing with all of chat. So someone else in chat might beat you to it. Yeah, it's a one-time use. 
don't know if Blazing Frost just uh, got him in a humble bundle or something. I probably have lurkers that quick on the draw, yeah. I think there's more copies of the Surge laying around than people on the planet. Oh, I still need to play it. Maybe I'll, I'll add in the Surge in my... So, I was talking it over with a couple of people. I think, I'm thinking about doing like a, uh, a, a Dark Souls-esque month for like November or something. So I'd play like the Surge and Code Vein. And maybe Blasphemous. Oh, someone told me Blasphemous wouldn't really count, but I, I think it's like gothic horror -y enough and difficult enough that it could be a... You could consider it Dark Souls light. A 2D Dark Souls. Platforming Dark Souls. Oh, we have guests. Yeah, I... I've had Code Vein for so long and I've never played it. Maybe I should boot it up and spend like an hour making my character before the stream. And then you guys, and then I can play as like, uh, William the Alchemist in Code Vein. It's sad because everything people criticized about Surge 1, devs improved in Surge 2. Oh, nice. Do I have Dark Souls 1 or 2? Yes, I do. I have Dark Souls 1 Remastered and Dark Souls 2. How do you get so far without just dying in this game? Um, also, what's up, Feature? How are you doing? Or Mae, which, whichever one you go by. Uh, let's see. We've done one year. You can't see it. I'm covering it in the bottom right there. Uh, let's see. What are some techniques for staying alive? Um, huh. I can't think. I die after like two seasons. Oh, um, I didn't really have a chance to do it much in this playthrough, but knowing how to set up defenses is really important in this game. So, like, one thing you can do, and I'm, remind me to cancel all this, is like, okay, say you have your base. Uh, if you make the, so there's only one way in and out of your base, then you can set this area up to be called, like, a kill box, and you can funnel enemies through it, and a basic early game setup you can do is make it a two wide hallway and you put a fence along the bottom you stagger it not like that hang on let me try again and then you put spike traps up top and the reason why this works is bad guys will go in straight lines, but your colonists can move diagonally. And spike traps do a lot of damage early on. So they'll they'll come in and then they'll it'll go pop, 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 and you'll kill like three guys and then they're gonna turn around and leave. And then everyone else you you draft them and have them hide inside here. Maybe set up like a a, a kill circle around the doorway. So that way anyone who survives just they all get shot. Um, I'm trying to think of some other stuff that I do. Uh, I, I can't, I haven't really had to do a whole lot of defense this time. Oh, I have a mod that lets my, or do I sign up for RimWorld lessons? Uh, I would, I, I like doing guides, so maybe I could do RimWorld guides. That's an idea. I don't know why I never thought of that before. I'd be happy to do it if you have any questions, too. Um, let's see. I have a mod that lets my colonists run and gun at the same time. So that's very helpful. Uh, so that way they can 
kite bad guys, especially like manhunting animals. So they can move and shoot. I think it's with an accuracy penalty, but it's better than just like standing still, trying to shoot, trying to move, trying to stop, trying to aim, trying to shoot. They'll just run and just pow, 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 pow the whole time. Uh... If you know what guns are good, you can try to trade or craft them early. The revolver is good against humans because I think it has enough stopping power that a human shot by a revolver will slow them down enough that you can keep uh, keep them at, at range and keep shooting them and they'll never melee you. But the heavy SMG, which is why I have everyone equipped with, is like all around one of the best guns in the game. Hey, thanks for the codes, Blazing Frost. There's a Far Cry 3 and Assassin's Creed 3 in there. If you guys want to try to win those. Um, but he, you're going to go work out. Hey, nice. Enjoy your workout. Thanks for hanging out, Blazing Frost. We'll see you next time, dude. Try to think if there's other... Oh, um... What kind of base are you setting up too, May? That might that might determine things as well. Cause I like to build a superstructure, which is where I have all my whole buildings all connected with like hallways and stuff. It's pretty secure. You just build, that's fair. Uh, the other way you can build, but I found it's difficult to defend colonies like this, but you can build just like a room and then space and then a room like a minecraft village and then space and then a room but i i find those colonies very hard to defend the safest place that you can do uh, i didn't pick a mountain base but the safest colonies are uh, are built into mountains so you you could start with the area here and then, like, you tell your colonists to dig in, and then dig, and then you can d build out your, uh, your rooms. You know, like this. Mountain bases scare you? Why do they scare you? Whoops, I misclicked. Oh, he killed the one that... The bed thing seemed like a good tip, putting him in a circle. I'm scared of it collapsing. As long as you don't do... Gosh, what is the threshold for it collapsing? You can't do, like, wider than, what, 10 squares? 13 squares? Get it, McDougal? Okay. But it won't randomly collapse. You don't have to worry about that. It's when you hollow it out too much like if I went here and I went like that actually even then I'm not even sure if an 18 by 11 will collapse but just an example like you can't just build a giant room hey what's up Javian can you have some horse meat actually I think we might be all out of horse meat we're down to caribou muffalo and people meat <laughs> those are your options I'm trying to trying to stock us up for the winter. Hey, what's up, Dorzo? You should know that you're still alive. We have recruited you to Stello Justice. And you're one of our top researchers now. And a good soldier. Soylent green is an option. That is true. You can make nutrient paste. Okay, got prosthetics researched. Okay, I know we need a harp eventually, so I guess we'll research that now. Oh, 
haul urgently, but haul. Sorry for not being around too long. I gotta go. It's like 4 a.m. Oh, no problem. That tells me uh, you're six hours ahead about. No. Prioritize hunting that. But yeah, I'd be happy to tell you more about the, the game, May, if I can. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll see what I can come up with. Oh, you are starting Crash Landed. So you have guns, right? I've never done a tribal start. If you're starting tribal, that can be tricky. Because then you're stuck with just melee weapons and bows, and it's like, ah. I think Dorzo can kill that one. McDougal, you gotta kill that one. Alright, just in time. No, haul that. Alright, and Dorzo killed that one. Alright. Good job, everyone. No one died to the giant blue buffalo. Which we've almost hunted them all off the map. Hey, what's up, Conkers? Uh, the bot wasn't working earlier. I'm hoping it's working now. There you go. Position 20. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I was going to do a festival today. Maybe we can recruit another person. All right. When McDougal puts this buffalo away, we'll uh, I'll do another festival. And then I'll try to pull for another name. Uh-oh. Never mind. We're getting... Raided by mechs. Uh, and they're... Scattered. Okay, we might lose somebody. I hate mechs. Alright. Let me try to get all my soldiers together. Arrow, oh, Arrow can equip the sword. Where's everyone else? Karma. Can go here. Oh, Dorzo can do what he's doing. McDougal can do what he's doing. Mares. Cholo. Cholo can shoot stuff. Okay. Scyther. It's fast and deadly in melee, but it's melee. It's another one down here. Was it just the two? Able to hack the mechs? I don't have the mod for that. I've been playing RimWorld. I downloaded a mod pack called Shape the World. I accepted a new colonist, which turned out to be an infected and alien. She mutated and killed two. Oh, wow. I've never heard of that mod. Wait, no, this guy's got a gun. Crap, he's got a charge lance. All right, there's a possibility. It's small. But it's possible that someone could die here because a charge lance can just hit them in the head and that'll kill them. So, uh... Go use the trees for cover. Who needs treatment? Who got shot? Josh got shot. How badly is it? Death in 14 hours. All right, Josh, you're out. Okay, that one's dead. Oh, Karma still only has an auto pistol? All right, Karma, you're out. Here's the melee one, so we're gonna come out and try to meet it first. Hey, good job. Max don't play around. No, they don't. But thankfully that was two of just like the skinny ones. We didn't have to deal with like a 
a pikeman or a lancer or a centipedes are the worst. Those are the big, heavy HP ones that just like they soak up so much damage. Well, I'm glad they brought components so we can make more guns. And only Josh got shot, which I'll, I'll think is pretty good. His leg has one hit point left. If that robot did one more point of damage, his leg would have been ripped off. All right, Josh, you need to go lay down. And then we'll have Cholo come give you some medicine. I think Cholo's our best doctor, yeah? Yeah, don't stub your toe now. <laughs> stub your toe and your whole leg rips off. My friend couldn't beat his manhunter invasion. I had him take his clothes into his entrance and Molotov of it to set on fire. Oh, that's a technique. Yeah. Unfortunately, Molotovs, you can't make early on. You have to research the chem fuel and the crafting. Can you melt the mechs for materials? Actually, yes. At the machining table, you can shred mechanoids. I think you get, like, components, steel, and plasteel. Actually, we'll watch mares do it. Mares is a high crafting, so he'll get the most material out of this. Boom. Just steel. How much steel? 15 pieces. Not bad. It's free. Oh, it's like butchering animals, but instead of getting meat and leather, you get steel and components. Oh, I was gonna do a festival, but we... We got raided instead. So we'll do a festival the next day. Can you turn Max into animatronics and build a pizza place with them? Uh, I don't think there's a Fri Five Nights at Freddy's mod for this. Bloody Mess is a necessary perk for every character. It's not a bad perk. I've, I've heard Jinxed is a funny perk in Fallout. I think that gives everyone a chance for a, a critical failure. Oh, what was I about to do? Oh, I need to manage auto slaughter on the muffalo. Oh, no, we're good. All right, so we have our females and our males. Okay. Reminds me of a comic in Deus Ex, enemies that are KO turn darker the more you hit them until they explode into gore. Had the idea someone comes into work looks all dark. Uh oh, where does this go? I explained he was in a car accident and gets tossed around but is fine. <laughs> someone slaps him in the back and he explodes. That's kind of funny. Like a, hey, don't worry about it, pow. <laughs> that must have been a feature in the original Deus Ex games. I don't remember that in uh, Mankind Divided or Human Revolution. I was trying to remember JC Denton quotes earlier today. Because I thought he had a... Uh, a, a few good ones, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. Uh, 
Like, doesn't he get mad at someone for making fun of America at some point? I won't have you badmouth the greatest democracy this world has ever known. Or am I thinking of a different game? Or a different voice line? that I can drain this okay we can research a moisture pump and that can uh... maybe we can drain the marsh and we can build on some of this land Rocky what are you doing I heard him digging at something, and I don't want him digging at the carpet, because I, I have a deposit to get back, maybe. But uh, he was he was digging into the couch, and that's fine, because the couch is, is tough, so I don't think he can damage it. I do like it when he does like the dingy stuff and the uh, it starts pulling blankets and, <laughs> and pillows around and makes a little nest for himself. It's really cute. Put the slate tiles here. Oh, they're disappointed from their stay? Oh, this is because you guys fought each other when you got here. And you didn't feel very good after you beat each other up. Okay, we can make a shield belt for Arrow now, right? Uh, that's a, a mare's only item. Arrow's got his plasteel longsword. Oh, actually. Oh, he's a brawler. He'd be unhappy to even use grenades. I was hoping I could get him to equip the, the grenades as a sidearm. And, like, throw grenades in and then go into melee, but... That doesn't look like he'd, he'd like doing that. Since you can plug electronics in any wall that has electricity, does that mean there's a plug in every tile with wires? I don't think they... it's plugs. I think it's direct wired in. See, look. And if you go into the power... Well, maybe the... Well, no. There's a plug on the, the icon. Maybe there is a plug. <laughs> Maybe there is a plug with every tile as wires. Alright, what quests? Oh, 15 components. What was I going to research? Uh, moisture pump. We want to... I think we want to drain the area around us. Get the spaceship chunks. Uh, where in the world is the component mining? It's down here, two day, two people. Okay, who do who would we want to send on a? Who wants to go on a raid? Probably be Ara Master and like one or two others. Because Aura is one of my best soldiers. That high shooting and tough stat. Okay, it's got to be Aura and someone who's like a doctor. Not Arrow. Because Arrow's melee. We could send Cholo. He's a psychopath. Maybe he'd like killing. No, he's 
has no empathy. It's that's the opposite of not the opposite, but not quite as bad as bloodlust. All right, Arizona's a careful shooter. And Ken can go with them too. Our master Arizona and Ken. Yeah, that seems like it'd be a good group. Let's do it. Ken, Arizona, Aura. Uh, autom automatically bring travel supplies. Let's go. And uh, I didn't bring a doctor along, so the trick is to not get shot. Okay, somehow this bed got assigned to the dog, and I don't know how that happened. Hey, have a good night, Dorzo. It sounds like you do, you need and you deserve some sleep, so <laughs> go pass out to Akira. It sounds like a good time. I say having no empathy is worse than bloodlust. At least with bloodlust, you know the person does it for enjoyment. Otherwise, the person kills you out of pure calculation. Fair point. This drowsiness makes me want to sleep, but I won't be awake for a little while longer. Uh, what are you missing, man? Sleep's important. I mean, as much as I'd love to have you have you here watching the stream, I'd want you to be taking care of yourself and getting sleep. It's only 10 p.m. Yeah. Fair point. What is everyone doing here? Oh, we're having a marriage ceremony. Wait, who's getting married? Wait, why is Dorzo fighting mares? Stop beating each other up. And McDoodle's Dougal's just watching. Oh, it's Arizona and Aura Master's wedding. And Mares and Dorzo ruined it. Actually, it was our master in Arizona going on a convoy together. I didn't know that their wedding was supposed to be today. Actually, it probably won't tell me what their, their needs are. My favorite quote is, it's Friday somewhere in the world for my friend on Monday of all days. I don't think that works that way. Can't get much rest anyway than when I do get my sleep, have insomnia or something as I wake up way too early. You know, what worked for me, I when I was younger, I used to have trouble going to sleep and staying asleep. But, uh, I don't know. You got to... For me, what all, all it, what worked for me, so I don't know if you've tried this, but if I just go and train my body to sleep, so even if I'm not tired, I go to bed when I want to go to bed, and I stay in bed for the period of time that I'm supposed to be asleep. And the other important thing is to not do anything in bed that isn't sleeping. So don't read in bed, don't be on your phone, don't have the TV on in the background. Just lay there and close your eyes. And the, the, the trick that they tell, teach you in the military, uh, so I've heard, if that doesn't work, is to go and to try to stay awake and somehow you will reverse psychology yourself into falling asleep. The 
the more you try to stay awake. But I've not tried that for myself because I, <laughs> I have transcended <laughs> my insomnia. And now I can just put my head down anywhere and just pass out. Which is great. But I, ha I have been there with sleeping troubles. But I, ha I, I had to train my, my body for... Well, well, three years, I'd say. But I had to make the conscious decision to, like... Not turn on the TV and, like, fall asleep watching shows... Um, I don't know. I used to like have headphones in and like listen to music and fall asleep to that, but I had to stop doing that too. Oh, you have sleep apnea and you have a mask. Okay, so you have you have more troubles than just oh I can't I can't fall asleep. Okay, I'm sorry. Tattered apparel. Dorzo, why are you wearing dirty... Oh, your clothes got torn in the fight. Your apron got torn. Alright, Dorzo, we'll make you a new apron. Yeah, sleep is, uh, sometimes sleep can be a tricky thing. And I do, I do consider myself lucky that I don't have, or I've trained myself out of my bad habits, because I know people have either bad habits or they just have trouble. And I know that that can suck. sleep is time when you have your guard down for anyone to stab you in the back yeah that's why I have Rocky Rocky will jump at anything and any sound even no sounds but I'm sure if someone was to try to do something <laughs> he would he would be on it like white on rice and let me know right away messed up that construction come on arrow it's just a lamp build the lamp he has trouble building the lamp that is until the day Rocky gets tired of me Dog logic is I didn't see or smell or hear anything dangerous. Something must be very wrong. <laughs> no, with Rocky, it's, um... I don't know. I can usually trust him to wake me up most mornings around the same time. So if I, like, sleep through my alarm, it's no big deal. But I've had some mornings... Uh... Or I'll, I'll sleep through my alarm and I'll wake up and I go, oh crap, what time is it? And I look at my phone and it says like 9.30. I'm like, Rocky, why did you let me sleep in so much? And he looks at me like, I, I wanted to sleep in, bro. I'm like, but like every other day of the week, you'll wake me up at like 7 o'clock. Exactly.
Oh, I I'm a slow I'm slow to get up in the morning too, Rusty. Oh, I wake up. It's like I don't know how people could just be like, all right, I'm awake. Bam, let's start the day. I'm like, how do you do that? I am like a zombie in the morning. Take my time getting to the bathroom. Take my time getting my shoes on to walk Rocky. Oh, man. I just want to crawl back into bed and go back to sleep. Uh, mornings are awful. <laughs> it's like a, <laughs> every morning is a, is, I'm, an, I'm awake, but at what cost? <laughs> Speaking of awake, I got to get this colony awake and we can have a party. And maybe try to recruit someone. Alright, when Karma Kid wakes up, we'll, we'll start this party. Morning people are a different breed. Yeah, absolutely. My grandma is absolutely a morning person. Holy cow. Um, and she's so quiet, too. But if I, if I spend the night at her house, she will get up at 5. Do what she needs to do. And then, like, start coffee, start breakfast. Hey, do you want a cinnamon roll? Yes, I do. She's like, do you want it right now or do you want to go back to sleep? I'm like, oh, I'll go back to sleep. And then she'll let me sleep like another couple hours. But eventually, I, you know, if I wake up once, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to fall back asleep. But it's like, I'll, I'll just lay there like, oh, I'm so tired. I can't get up yet. But like, there's the promise of coffee and cinnamon rolls if I get up now. Yeah, my grandma is crazy. She is the last one to bed and the first one to wake every day. And she takes care of us when we visit. I have found, though, if I wake up earlier in the morning, I'm less drowsy. And I don't know what that is. But I've had, to, I've had some days that start... Where I have to be at the customer at like 6 in the morning. So I'll get up at 4, leave at 5 to get there by 6. And I found those days, I get over that drowsiness, like pow, instantly. By 5 o'clock, I am like in go mode. But if I sleep till 7, get up, leave at 8, get to where I need to be at 9, then it's like... Uh, morning, late morning zombie. I am just used to mornings now with weekdays because I have to prepare breakfast. But the weekend I'm sleeping like a rock. <laughs> Dude, this, that's a really purple person in that gibbon there. Oh, this place. We can take a battery and a solar generator home with us. Not just the components. All right. No one get hurt. Oh, there are two guys. One with a gun, one with a knife. All right. We just got to watch out for the, the gun guy. Knife guy is whatever. Yep, she's dead. Alright, and gun guy is dead. Are we done? Oh, they left food behind? Alright, there's the components. What else did they have in here? Oh, I have to kill the turret. Crap. Oh, wait, I know. <laughs> what if we just deconstruct the power conduit? <laughs> the area is now safe. <laughs> K 
Can I claim the turret and take it home with me? I hope I can. Yeah, that was a five head play right there. AKA a pro gamer move. All right, reform caravan, head home. Can I bring? Good auto pistol and machine pistol. Oh, we can bring the turret. We can bring the battery. We can't bring... Oh, we can't bring the solar generator with us. So we might have to deconstruct that. But, free turret, yeah. Alright. Deconstruct the solar generator. That'll give us steel and components. We can't. This is I, this is apparently too heavy for us to take home. So all right, whatever. That's fine. We'll just our master will break it down and we'll take it home that way. I've tried melatonin. That doesn't do anything for me. Have you tried um? Have you tried THC oil? I've heard that could help with sleep. Components, steel, battery, turret. No! Still too much. Okay, um. Really behind the crappy auto pistol. No. Machine pistol? Uh, crappy knives? Can we bring the meal? Too heavy. <sighs> Crap. Okay, don't bring those. Bring the berries. Is 50 steel? Is that what's causing... Okay, I don't need 50 steel. We got like 2,000 steel. I'd rather have the battery in the turret. Bring the food. Oh, and then, okay, now can we afford to bring home the guns and the knives? Okay, we can bring the weapons home. Oh, they had a smoke pot pack. Let's grab that. Okay. That's a lot of equipment, but... Can you take guard skulls with you? Oh, I'd have to actually... I'd have to have told the colonists to... Uh, extract the skulls, and I didn't do that. But yeah, I think I can next time. I, I'm sitting on a stockpile of 10 skulls. I don't... I'm not really hurting for that as a resource. I don't know what THC oil is. Um, Jill was trying this a while ago. I think it was THC oil. But it was an oil that you, you put in your... It was an essential oil, and you like... I think you put it in your mouth and you hold on to it for like a minute and you just let it soak into your face. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not confusing this with a different essential oil. I think it was THC oil. Doctors refuse to give you help with something. Oh, that sucks. Oh, the only other thing I can think of is maybe do um, uh, some light stretching before bed. Like do a little bit of yoga before bed. Maybe, you know, a little a little bit of physical activity to help get you a little tired. But yes, I'm sorry to hear you have such sleep troubles, man. Okay, we got more Ibex to hunt.
Wearing clothes, slept in the cold. How did you sleep in? Oh, I know you slept in the cold. We need to put vents on the bedrooms. <laughs> so we can equalize the temperature for everyone. Oops, that won't do anything. My father had a story about how his brother couldn't fall asleep, so he knocked himself out. It was hard to explain to the parents in school. That sounds like an extreme method of... of, uh... <laughs> sleep solution. Reading some wor really wordy comics from the 80s helps me from time to time. Uh, I'm trying to avoid... From what's worked for me, I used to read a lot, and I would read in bed. But I did a lot of stuff in bed instead of sleeping. Played video games, listened to music, read books, sometimes combination. I'd have, you know, my headphones on and a CD player and reading a book. You know, so I'm listening and reading. And then it was like, oh, no wonder that I, you know couldn't sleep as a teenager you know my body just wasn't used to treating bedtime as sleep time so I just I had to train myself to okay if I'm in bed I'm only doing this activity and that is sleep I, I wouldn't let myself do other things I don't know. You can also try uh, different noisemakers. I know they have apps for like uh... <laughs> rainstorms and thunderstorms, like frogs croaking and whatever else. Um, I I do know if it rains, I am out like a light. I I sleep my heaviest when it is raining. I don't know why, but I love the rain. I don't know if that would work for you. Just listen to VTuber ASMR. <laughs> Dude, I saw that. I saw a guy do an ASMR video, but he was like... <laughs> he was like punching his microphone, and he got a... Uh, he got his vacuum cleaner and put it on the microphone. And, uh... <laughs> it was like obnoxious ASMR. It was really funny. The rain satisfies your inner earthworm. <laughs> My desire to just eat dirt. <laughs> oh, I knew another streamer who had insomnia real bad, and I... I tried to pass along some of the advice that I learned, but he was like, no, no, I have insomnia. There's nothing I can do about it. And I was just like, oh, well, if you're not even willing to listen to advice. I don't, I don't know what I can tell you. I guess, I guess that sucks and that's it. <laughs> hey, our caravan made it. Nothing he can do. Oh, maybe it's not fair for me to say it. Maybe he tried every bit of advice I was giving him and I was just a broken record, you know, repeating stuff he had already heard. He was a he was a Dark Souls streamer. He's a pretty cool guy. He's from Sweden. I don't know why I said it that way. He was a very nice guy. I felt terrible that he had trouble sleeping because it's... Just constantly thinking about what I could do and wondering off and on if my body's having trouble relaxing. 
I mean, that's possible too. I mean, stress could be a... Stress just screws up so much stuff in our life. And I'm sure sleep is one of them. Did we make a second parka? Or did I only make one parka? Okay, I want to... I want to get this stuff drained up. Does his name rhyme with jazz? Nope. Steel mini turret. Set that up over there. Spare battery. We can put this anywhere. Not outside. I think batteries outside are a bad thing. Maybe we'll put a battery in there. that in. Oh, we don't have enough plasteel to make the shield belt, because we made the sword. Alright, good deal. Oh, War Merchant is approaching. Does anyone have inspired trading? No. the high social? Is it Darnsig? Darnsig and Cholo. Okay, we're gonna install the Psychic Reader, I think. Well, we'll improve Darnsig's psychic powers by putting a by implanting yet another device into his brain what do I think about feeling sore when you lay down I, I've never had that. Um, again, I you could try stretching. Alright. So, all the steel knives. I guess the... The bow, the revolver. The revolver, the machine pistol, the LMG. Bad clothes. Oh, we have the Ambrosia to sell. Yes. Okay, that's going to make us a ton of money. No components, no advanced components. Something my psychiatrist taught me it may also help slow breathing exercises. It sounds like it could be helpful. Maybe I don't give him the grenades. 
Okay, maybe I don't give him the LMG. You take a slow, deep breath in, five seconds, then breathe out slowly over five seconds. Do that for a few minutes. You may feel dizzy the first time. Ooh. Okay, maybe I'll take their herbal medicine. And then they can have the LMG. All right, it's gonna empty our inventory nicely. And get us a thousand silver. And some medicine, which has been a problem in the past, so I, I do not feel bad buying more of it. All right, today we're gonna do a festival. We're gonna recruit people. I have 20 names on this list. I gotta get some, I, I gotta try to get some off. Once everyone's awake, so that's Aura Master and Ken. Hey, a warg self-tamed. That's pretty cool. We can teach it to fight. All right, Ken's had enough sleep. All right, everyone, time for the Fiesta of Violence. Make your lanterns. And maybe someone will come visit. The last two people you tried to turn in your into your viewers chose prison riots. Yeah, and they broke out they tried breaking out twice. And one of those breakout the first breakout, I she lost a leg, and then she tried to do it again. Can you ride the warg? I don't have that uh Um I don't have that mod. But I think you can ride wargs in the there is a, a mount up mod. Let's try to make this all the same zone, but. I hope you guys made pretty lanterns and that someone will want to join. Ends in half an hour. This is nice. It builds up social interaction with other people in the colony too. Alright, we got someone to join. I got bored with the other stream. How's it going here? Uh, pretty good. We just got a, a new friend. Oh, and she came armed to the teeth with a revolver and a knife. Why is she moving so fast? What a nice and peaceful festival of violence, exactly. Oh, I didn't look at your stats. Medical, social, intellectual. High trigger happy, though. Well, another doctor's always good. I don't need you to hunt. Man, you have trigger happy. I wish I could make you... Uh, a hunter, but your animal stat is kind of low, too. 
All right, let's go pull a name. Javian. I don't know if he's still here, but you have made it into the game. Time to make you a parka so you don't freeze to death. Oh, and I guess we can make you some boots. And a scarf. Do we have scarfs unlocked? We have gloves. No, I don't have scarfs unlocked yet. All right. Oh, that squishing sound, that's the... All right, please don't mess up this operation, Cholo. We've, we've failed to amputate legs, so hopefully we can be successful in implanting psychic reading devices. Yes, and Cholo leveled up his medical stat. All right, darn Sig. You now have the psychic reader. Your negotiation and trade abilities have gone up. So there's some gloves for you, Javian. All right, we had another festival. Oh, one more day for that one. Zero days in one day. All right, so we can do a couple more festivals. The festival of violence is actually pretty chill, yeah. Did I name him yet? Yeah, Javian. He was here earlier asking for horse meat. So he knew the meme. Well, yeah, so in the next, next couple days, we'll do a couple more festivals. See if we can't get any more names recruited. lucky are we to get a whole meteor made of gold how come this doesn't happen in real life just a, a whole chunk of gold metal just boom there you go that's yours oh, my hay grass got blighted Time to go cut all the hay grass before it spreads. Okay, make boots. Comfortable temperature range minus 78. Holy cow. What are they wearing that lets them survive that cold? Minus 85. It's probably that really good blue fur parka. Yeah, even a poor one is minus 42. I don't think I have anyone else who's negative 80 degrees Celsius. Good job. All the blighted hay grass is taken care of. Okay, 
cutting more granite. THC oil is banned in nearly 50 states. There's 20 states where it's illegal. So it's about 50%. I just know it's legal where I'm at. Hey, what's up, Leo Kira? CBD oil, not THC oil. I'm sorry. THC, that's the stuff that makes you high. I'm so sorry. CBD oil. That's got to be... You, you can buy that at, like, gas stations. It's so popular. I had my, my TLAs mixed up. My three-letter acronym. Uh-oh. Arrow and McDougal are fighting. Arrow beat up McDougal. I guess that's the brawler trait in the melee stat. <laughs> Sorry, McDougal. Don't worry, Cholo's Cholo's coming to rescue you. He's gonna carry you to bed. Be careful with any potions from the alchemist. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I know CBD and THC come from cannabis. It's two different types of chemicals, though. But yeah, be, be careful with uh, what you drink from the alchemist. <laughs> the health potions are good, I promise. Google, when you're when you can walk again go go equip your your gun one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I mean you took 12 punches before going down I'd say that's pretty good you only gave half as half as many to arrow a third as many but like I said arrows uh He's our melee monster. With the brawler stat, too. Uh, hey, you know what? At least he didn't, like, rip your arms off like we've had happen in other playthroughs. You know what the other thing we should research is armor, so we can make flak armor. How good are your healing potions? Well, nobody, <laughs> nobody who drank them ever complained. That's pretty funny. It's true though. Ah, look, arrows. Arrow's patching him up. Hey, I'm sorry I beat you up. I'm gonna give you the medicine. I'm gonna use this medicine on you. And then McDougal got up and said, nope. I don't want you patching me up. Let me go get my gun arrow. And Arrow says, alright, I'm going to bed. <laughs> He's armed again. I'm not gonna mess with that. Arrow's gonna sleep off his bruises. Oh, no, he's getting back up to tend to him. He, he waits for McDougal to go to sleep, and then he comes and starts ba bandaging his wounds. <laughs> oh. 
Arrow's just trying to be a good doctor. Oh, they left an advanced component. We left this outside? Someone needs to bring that indoors. Uh, if humans are 60% water and Jesus can turn water into wine, can he pe kill people by turning people into wine? Wasn't that depicted in a cartoon? Maybe like a YouTube cartoon. Or maybe it was Family Guy. Of Jesus touching someone and turning all the water in their body to wine and they just swelled up like a purple grape. He's like, oh no, oh no, I messed up again. We gotta get out of here. Where have I... Or was that just like a fever dream? I'm just imagining something that's never existed before. Bracking my head, but I can't think of it. McDougal got all his bruises and cracks bandaged. No, no one tends to Arrow's wounds. He goes to sleep by himself. Dang, if we waited on our master and Arizona made gamer, they would have been married and they could be sleeping in the same bed and flinging up a space for someone else. Reminds me of a Z-grade vampire schlock movie where Jesus lures vampires into the Great Lakes and then blesses all the water, making them fry. Dude, that's awesome. What about CBD oils? Supposed to even help? None of the listed reasons suggest being remotely helpful for sleeping. I don't know. It can, uh, I'm sorry. It relieves anxiety and neurological disorders. I think you mentioned having a hard time trying to relax. That can be anxiety. Plus it may benefit heart health and relieve certain types of pain. You also talked about mild back pain. I'm not a doctor though. I've just heard that CBD oil can be helpful with trying to sleep because that's what my fiance takes it for. Just trying to help, man. <laughs> I'm throwing. I know I'm throwing a lot of things at the wall for you, but I'm trying to. I don't want you to lose hope. I'm trying to throw out that there's still things yet to try. No, there was this other oil that she used for my headaches, and they, it was really good stuff. It smelled really nice, too. Was it lavender oil? Maybe not lavender oil. Man, it smelled... Whatever it was, one, it was expensive, and two, it smelled really good. But she'd put... She'd just, like, dab a little bit on my forehead... Right before bed, and I would just... If I had a headache before bed, man, it would just go, it would whisk it right away. You know, I was going to get Molotov cocktails and burn all these. A lavender pillow can help just a cloth pillow filled with dried lavender twigs. Yeah, I'm gonna text her after the stream be like, hey, what was that stuff you put on my face that helped with the headaches? Because <laughs> that was good stuff. I might have to get a jar of that stuff. Oh, I was gonna say I was gonna make I don't have a Molotov cocktail, so what I was gonna do instead is use the frag grenades and just <laughs> Just blow up the bodies. <laughs> yeah. War crimes, am I right? 
What's Mayor's up to? He looks like he's doing something. Alright, well, let's make another heavy SMG for Mare, not Mare's, for Javian. Okay, we got the moisture pump. Uh, what are we gonna do? Plate armor, because we want flak armor, so that way we don't get insta-killed in battle. Right, I've never used a moisture pump before. Air slowly equalizes moisture in nearby terrain, converting marshes of shallow water into dry ground. We'll try it on here, and then we'll move it up here. And then I'll I can build four more bedrooms. At least that's the plan. Okay, we build this wall section. Keep this stuff walled off. Hopefully the bad guys, when they spawn, they're going to want to go this way. And then I can work on the kill box. Actually, hang on. Let me... Let me go find that, that video of the kill box. And we'll get it set up. Hey everyone. Nope. I just need to see the setup. Okay. this up I, it looks like no nope, okay it looks like it has to be built in a certain order so I'm gonna let them do this part first oh we were gonna do festivals today Advent of Justice, we can do at the temple. Oh, our chances go up if we take someone out. Alright, Elk, you don't get to participate. Festival time, let's try to get a couple more colonists and we can call it a night. Because we're coming up on four hours. And you know what? I'm feeling pretty good starting an hour earlier. Get a little bit more Rimworld action in.
<laughs> the guy who didn't get to participate, he's going to play cards with himself. Hey, on movies, if you include cartoons, I got an obscure but hilarious one. Yeah. I need to make some way for people to give a feedback on movies and stuff. Or suggestions, I should say. Deconstruct all this. Give me that granite so we can make more walls around our base. Speaking of, we should probably... Oh. Oh, this is Ken Kaneki's wife. All right, who's going to be Ken's wife? Pick random user. Baron Von Kame. I don't know if he's here tonight. He might be lurking. Well, congrats. Baron Von Kame. Can I put spaces in there? That is super convenient. So I can throw you two in the same bedroom and the same bed. It's just convenient. There's a Soviet Treasure Island adaptation from 1988 that's hilariously good. There's a character who lines up a bunch of rifles on a windowsill and shoots them by playing them like a piano. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Oh, okay, we gotta look at what Baron is good at. Shooting, animals, intellectual, misandrist, teetotaler and a cannibal well Ken really pick, knows how to pick him well I guess uh, you can research and hunt I don't want you touching anything else you know I'll put your medical at four because you have some experience in it you know what you can I guess you can feed the animals I guess there's no harm in that the rest of your stats are yeah, not even there. Oh, wow. This is really slow. Current radius zero. So it's only doing the tile directly under it. And it's gonna take eight days for the radius to expand. So this is gonna do these. Oh my God. Do I need, should I build more of these? Baron has, oh, very poor clothes. And, and a very poor gun. All right, so we'll make we'll make you a new parka, pants. Where's the parka? Parka. You'll need a shirt or a jumpsuit. Maybe we make a jumpsuit for you. Global work speed, but you're not going to be working on anything. Never mind, no jumpsuit for you. Alright, where was the button down shirt? Alright, we'll make you another one of those. Make you boots. 
gloves, and a hat. Alright. That should take care of that new recruit. Alright, how many more beds do we have? We have two more. How many more festivals can we do? In zero days, this festival will return. We can do the great celebration. All right, tomorrow we'll do the great celebration. Well, that's lucky. I've not... I've seen colonists have prior relationships, like father or aunt or whatever... I have never recruited right off the bat, boom, someone's spouse. Oh, she's someone's sister, too. I thought it said sister. Maybe I misread. Cold outside. You can see their breath. We're coming up on another winter. How much food do we have stuck about? Only 30 meals? Oh crap. Um Let's make a meal rack tray. Uh, let's take it up to 80. Seems like an okay number. Exotic goods trader. I don't know what they'll want that we have. Winter is the best season. All the trash people leave on the streets gets buried. Oh, Elk and Karma Kid are fighting. Why are you guys fighting? Yeah, I kind of like it, too, for similar reasons where all the dog poop people don't pick up gets buried under the snow. And then I don't have to see it until all the snow melts. Okay, darn Sig, it's time for you to use your new psychic powers of mind reading and trade negotiations. Acolyte specific apparel. Oh. Alright, we'll figure out how to make you nicer clothes. 21% is good, but I thought it would be higher. We have a ton of gold we can sell them. Hey, what's up, Cyber? Alright, well, they have advanced components we can buy. Do they have any crazy animals? They have a Welsh Terrier. But not a pug. They have Plasteel, but we can get our own Plasteel. Drill Arm. We don't have anyone who's a... A drill dedicated... They have Glitter world medicine. That seems good to have. Overslept from an after shift nap. Now my sleep schedule's out of whack. Dang, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. 190? 290. Alright, that's all my gold. But it'll get the materials I want from them, aka... Glitter World Medicine and Advanced Components. Get rid of all the gold, and then I get almost all their money. Might go for a midnight run, though. Depending where you're at, that could be good or bad. That should fix it. Hopefully it does. We've been talking about 
uh, <laughs> we've been talking about how to sleeping tips, I guess is the best way to put it. So yeah, light, light exercise, like a jog or, or some stretching might help knock you out again. Okay, as soon as we get the materials in. My old trick doesn't work anymore, blinking 80 times. Huh, that's a good trick. Because I know people count sheep. But I guess just counting your blinks. My eyelids are too jacked. <laughs> the image of someone having like swollen eyelids like veins and from the muscles and everything oh my is that's just ridiculous all right we're gonna have an awoken party we can do i think we can do two more parties to get people uh recruited calisthenics for the eyelids yeah <laughs> For me, it was my eyelids got heavy from the amount of blinking. Oh, I see. Because you would wear out your eyelid muscles, and then you would they would be too tired, and then they'd stay closed. That makes sense. But now you've done it so much that your eyelids don't get tired. I Yeah, alright. Now I know why you say your eyelids are jacked. Speed through the dance party. Glad everyone's getting along at the dance party. Darn sick wooed Karma Kid. Karma Kid did not respond. Man, he has psychic mind reading powers and he still can't woo can't get a woman. Poor darn sig. Oh. We got another wanderer. This is Dorzo's lover. Man, we're getting everyone's girlfriends are now joining us. All right, we got we got one more name to pull. Mew Mew. I don't know if they're here tonight. They were here the other night. Hi cooking. Do you have a girlfriend? Um, you have a sister, an aunt, an uncle, you have one, two, three, four friends, you don't have a lover yet. Did you get turned down? No, you don't have a girlfriend yet. But it could happen. You can try Hermes Jamaican tradition from Futurama. A warm glass of milk. Oh, isn't there some chemical in warm milk that does make you sleepy? Like that's not a like not a joke or an old wives tale, but it's an actual thing. Okay, Mew Mew. Oh, has interest in medical too. All right, you can be a doctor. I don't want you to entertain people because you'll make them angry. You can grow plants. That's fine. Oh, Mare's made a masterwork SMG. Let's read the art on this. An engraving on this weapon is shaped like a solitary surgeon near a village. The focused structure of the image almost conflicts with its blocky style. That's, that's badass sounding. All right, masterwork. I'll probably want to find someone with the higher uh, shooting skill to take advantage of that. Oh, here he already has a master of one. Okay, McDougal gets a better SMG. Does he have a sidearm? No. Uh, 
All right, McDougal, you can also get the plasteel knife as your sidearm. You have, you'll have my second best melee weapon as your sidearm. In case someone tried to mess with you up close. Oh, Mew Mew is incapable of violence. Okay. All right, and then Baron gets the excellent heavy SMG. Switching your sidearms faster than reloading. Well, in this I use sidearms so that way you're shooting at someone and that someone gets in melee with you. Um, your character is not stuck going, oh no, I can't use, like, in default rim world, they will like try to poke them with the barrel of the gun and it doesn't do a lot of damage. Whereas with the sidearm mod, you'll, you know, swap to a knife and stab them, which will actually like damage them and make them go, oh, ow, that hurts and they'll die faster. Okay, we got plate armor, flak armor, so we can make flak vests, flak jackets, flak pants, keep our, keep ourselves alive. That's a blue for a button down shirt. Did I have one more ceremony I can do? Hey, hang on, how many more beds do I have? I have one more bed. That reminds me of a character from Trigun. She's using derringers as her weapons and has like 50 of them under her vest. Uh, that's not Meryl, is it? Or is Meryl the girl with the stun gun? And the stun gun is basically like it shoots a giant cross and knocks you over. I can't remember my Trigun characters. Meryl Strife! No, I was right! What a cool last name, Strife. It's like Cloud's last name, dude. Alright. do the great celebration today and tomorrow and then we'll uh, we'll probably wrap up the stream see if we get one more recruit to the village the colony I want to rewatch Trigun though yeah no it wasn't Millie Millie was the Millie was the girl with the stun gun. Millie Thompson. Stun gun Millie was her nickname. Yeah, because it was... A stun gun. Because it was just a giant... <laughs> metal rod that would hit you in the... And that would stun you. <laughs> Was it like a stun gun, like a, a use of electricity or anything like that?
the state is going too slow. I want to get one more recruit. Maybe we'll get McDougal's girlfriend to join. Nah, I shouldn't get his hopes up. What are Elk and Yak leaving? They're taking up two very valuable beds. Three and a half days. Okay. Alright, speed through the night since everyone's asleep. I might build another one of these if they're going to take so long. It's going to want a bridge there. That's fine. Randomly, it's gonna go on an insulting spree because Yak insulted him. These guys are supposed to be my guests for a quest, and they've been nothing but trouble. Hospitality for friends. Well, I somehow kept their average mood right above 50%, so that's good. Even those guys are uh, <laughs> going on a mental state. Okay, we'll put our simple meals in here. You know what? We still don't have anyone who's uh, a dedicated miner yet. I think our highest stat is five. Celebration. Is everyone awake for this? Darn Sig's not. Okay, he's had enough sleep though. Alright. Last festival of the day. Or of the stream, I guess. 75% chance to be fun or unforgettable. Oh no, this one discovers an ancient complex. Why is this one screwed up and not... Gonna give me your recruit. Dang it. Alright, when we reform our religion, we're getting rid of that holiday, because that's not a useful holiday. We can't recruit people off of that one. You know what? Alright, we're gonna we're gonna do it anyways. Because learning the location of an ancient complex means treasure. We'll see if it happens. It'll be a good high note to end the stream on. We'll have a we'll have a wonderful party. Everyone will be in a good mood for the next six days. Maybe we'll learn the site of an ancient complex. Go raid it for treasure. Sorry, McDougal, I somehow had the wrong uh, festival loaded. Oh, we also need to do the festival anyways so we can reform. Turns out it's an old sewage treatment plant. Hey, as long as I can get steel and components, I'm okay with that. I'm starting to think, how come we don't have flamethrower, not flamethrowers, fire extinguishers and worm world, the exact opposite of a flamethrower, actually. <laughs> with how prevalent fires are in the game, especially when you're exploring ancient complexes and they have those fuel nodes that explode. 
I'd send my adventurers away with a fire extinguisher, so if they accidentally set one of those off, they can... They can clear out the room of all the fire before all the treasure burns down. That's probably a mod. I'm gonna look it up after the stream. Okay. Unforgettable, which gave us two points, so now we can reform the religion. Which, uh, we're gonna change that festival so it recruits people. Okay, Javian, I want you to have the heavy SMG. Oh, we're having a marriage ceremony. All right, I think we're finally getting Aura Master's wedding. Aura Master in Arizona. Darn Sig tried to woo Baron Von Kame. Baron ignored the advance. The Baron, Baron is somewhat, is uh, Ken Squeeze. Darn Sig, you gotta go after the single ladies. I'm gonna put a wedding spot in the throne room. I think we should be getting married in the throne room. All right. All right, it is our master and Arizona made gamers wedding. Excellent, so now I can put them in the same bed and that frees up another bed for another recruit down the line. Speed up, come on guys. Oh, it lagged right when I went to take a screenshot. All right, everyone's celebrating the occasion. Did we drink all the beer yet? I don't think we have any beer left. They updated the, the sleeping arrangements too. Very perfect. Oh, drop that parka. It's a bad parka. Yeah, no one should be wearing that. Josh wanted to put the gloves on? I thought, yeah, Josh has gloves. All right. Well, we are set up to reform the ideal religion next time. stockpiling a lot of food for the winter. Get some excellent pants. Hey, Core! Sorry, things been streaming for a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to wind things down here. Um I'll be back tomorrow for Fire Emblem three hopes Let's see if any of my friends are on YouTube that we can go raid how's my lungs a uh, little little painful hurts when I cough but otherwise we are a-okay unfortunately my medicine didn't come in today I'm hoping it comes in tomorrow who raid yeah I'm uh No one, no one's small on right now. 
I guess we could go raid Anne. I think that's fair since Anne raided me. Oh, no, you're fine. I know you're on a, a, a way different time zone than me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and save here. I've been streaming for almost... Oh, God, it's got to be like four and a half hours. Hey, starting an hour earlier worked out, huh? Got a lot more brimworlding in today. Uh, yeah, hope to see you guys tomorrow for Fire Emblem. Hope, hope you guys like the stream tonight. Uh... Do I know who this person is? Hey, I'm glad you had fun, Daniel. I don't... I'm following this person, but I don't know if they're a VTuber. Wait, how do I know this person? That's the second question. Why am I following them? Hang on, I'm gonna wait for the ad to finish so I can see if they're, uh... Okay to raid. Just playing Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to go see that. <laughs> Maybe you know I'll I'll we'll raid back into Anne because Anne's raided me in the past. Who am I, William, right now? Oh, because I'm watching them. You might want to mute the ad. Oh, I have I usually have Twitch muted. All right. Uh, I'm going to be sending uh, sending you guys back into Anne. You guys can let Anne know that uh, Will sent you over there. Uh, otherwise, have a great night or a great day, depending on where you are in the world, since we're uh, international now that Cord's here. <laughs> uh, hey, it was a lot of fun with RimWorld, as always. We added three new recruits to the colony, and... Uh, we fought off a, a couple of scary raids, actually. The seven-person pirate raid and the mech raid. So we've had some good and good and bad luck. Oh, and we had a prison break, which is kind of like a raid. But yeah, things are coming along. We fixed the medicine problem. We're starting to get our defenses built up. Yeah, it's been good. Our, our colony is really shaping up. So, uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day or night. Hope to see you guys tomorrow for Fire Emblem. I feel like I've said this already and I'm looping. But uh, I'm going to save and end the stream. So, I was always interested about RimWorld. Now I know to buy it because of a glance of your stream. Just one glance sold you on it? That's awesome. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, Cord, sounds great. Um, let's see. I'm going to type the Twitch raid. This channel is intended for mature audiences, but be sure to let Anne know that I sent you. Anne will know. Uh, but yeah, uh, take it easy, everyone. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. But uh, stay safe, stay healthy, like I'm going to try to do. And uh, take it easy. All right. Good night, everyone.